snakes. 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 Little, 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 little. Little, 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 little. Hello? He hello? Hi! How's it going? What's up, you guys? Hi, Vigil! Hi, Spoo! Good to see you here! What's going on? How you guys doing? I have terrible news. I have the worst news. I have good news and I have bad news. The bad news... I, I wasn't paying attention. Man, I burnt my pizza. The good news is that it tasted really good burnt, so... <laughs> The other bad news is that I don't feel so good now that I ate burnt pizza, but... <laughs> but you know what? I think it was worth it. I think it was like a good life experience. <laughs> How are you guys doing? How's your day been going? God, I wish I could jam harder. I wish I could jam as hard as those emotes go. Just like... <laughs> Oh, Laggy, what's up? Welcome, welcome. God, the raid song with this music sounds <laughs> really weird. <laughs> welcome, welcome, guys. Welcome, welcome. Oh my god, Laggy, I, what were you doing? Were you maybe playing like Monster Hunter? I'm, I'm like basically a psychic. Welcome, you guys. How's it going? Hi, Fat Jesus. I was just telling everyone I ate some burnt pizza and it was okay. <laughs> You're a psychic savant, I am. I have mad psychic skills. <laughs> we honk, we bonk. You're jelly. Dude, don't be too jealous. I'm so hungry. Dude, go eat. I think I have some leftover burnt pizza. You want some? God, I mean, it's not that good. I thought it was okay, but I don't think you're supposed to eat it like that. <laughs> I don't know. I have a good life tip for everyone. It, everyone take notes, man. I really need to take notes. Like, I need to, I need to take notes, emote. Take notes on this, okay? Who burnt it? I did. <laughs> I, bur I burnt it. I burnt it. I <laughs> I may have been watching someone stream. I may have been watching someone play Monster Hunter and I and I burnt my pizza. Uh, <laughs> take notes, okay? If you don't want, like... If you can only get, like, frozen pizzas... You really do? How many times you tell us take notes? <laughs> I'm sorry, dude. It's okay. It's all my fault. If you really... If you want to get, like, frozen pizzas instead of, like, delivery pizzas, here's what you do. If you want to, like... Uh, spice up your life a little bit. Get some like mozzarella cheese, okay? 
some like good mozzarella cheese. Put a bit of that on top before you like throw it in the oven. Oh my God. It'll change your life. I'm very classy as you can tell. <laughs> Look, only the best, only the best for me. It's just special pizza. Yeah, it's really special. It's like rare. It's like completely black. It's <laughs> that means it's like a rare skin, I think. Add your own toppings to your pizza 100%. Absolutely. Get like not the crappiest pizza, but you don't have to go for like the crazy stuff. Get just like a normal pizza and put your own shit on it. That's a good tip. That's a cook. That's a that's a that's a plibit cooking tip. You're welcome. If you want to cook, uh, buy things that are already cooked and put your stuff on top of it, and then cook it. And that's how you be a pro chef. <laughs> chef Plibit, look. Do not put shit on pizza. But why, dude? Like, if I want to, I will. Don't hold me back. You're holding back my creativity. I don't like that. <laughs> If I want to put shit on my pizza, I'm allowed to. Thank you. Oh my god! <laughs> nicely timed. That was nicely timed. That was good. Captain Plymouth's orders, you know what? It's been a minute. I might need to make Captain Plymouth's orders less. I gotta give out orders more. Um, so, as you guys know, uh, the ship... Well, I I'll explain to those who aren't aware. Uh, a few days ago... <laughs> a few days ago, uh, the ship kind of maybe exploded. Just maybe, just a little bit. I mean, there was still like a lot of it left. Um, we were, all, everyone was fine. We were good. Drink water, good idea. You know, we were fine. We were all good. No casualties or anything. But like, um, the entire ship was destroyed and we do have to keep on rebuilding. Uh, keep moving forward. So, your orders today, Vigil. Uh, you know what? I've been thinking a lot about what we're gonna add. My cage. <laughs> well, build your cage. Why Look. <laughs> Look. We'll get your cage built. But I'm thinking about cool things we can add that we didn't have before. And I'm thinking maybe like a roller rink could be cool. Hello, Plib. Hope you're well. I'm doing good, FJ. Welcome, welcome. But yeah, I think like if we had like a froggy roller rink, uh, and, and I'm thinking that maybe it'll go like around the reactor room. So you have like big reactors and you're like just skating around them. I think that'd be pretty cool. And it could teach you guys like how to be agile and whatnot. It'd be like a good learning experience, I think. Thoughts? Oh, we gotta- we probably need to rebuild the disco too, man. Oh, roller rink disco. Ah! <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Tail honk makes me angry. It makes me- Tail honk makes me violent. I hate it. I hate it because the more I hear it, the more I just hear me. <laughs> but yeah, maybe like, we can like, maybe combine the disco and the roller rink. I think that'd be pretty good. Like, you can dance and you can jam. I mean, I we'd have to learn how to roller skate. I think that's probably, that's probably, like, first thing. A vigil, can you maybe, like, have a, ro like a roller skating class? Could we, like, set that up? Maybe, like, pass around, uh, pass around, like, a little notepad and everyone write your name on it if you want to join. Can we get a Tails Honk impression? No. <laughs> that's me every stream. Uh, it's like that. It's like <laughs> it's, it's like that. It's uh, it's. Uh, <laughs> I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. <laughs> Beautiful. Thank you. I could probably make my voice crack more, but then you'll all leave, and you'll he won't come back. So. <laughs> and look, yeah. If you leave, you're just going into the abyss of space, and I don't know if I can catch all of you. So. <laughs> Guys, are you ready for some, like, <laughs> to turn it into a sound alert? <laughs> Dude, Plibit Honk. I'm okay with a Plibit Honk. We can do that. <laughs> are you guys ready for, like, the most intense gaming experience of your life? 
I mean, we played some intense stuff on this stream, but are you ready for like the most intense gaming you've ever seen on Twitch? Are you, are you sure? Are you ready? I need to know that you guys are ready. I need to know that you, you're, you're okay with this. <laughs> you have to, you have to tell me you're okay. I mean, it's, it's a lot to handle, I think. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That, yeah. You, you guys look like you're ready. That, look, <laughs> that doesn't look panicked. If you find a way to make unpacking go wrong, I will be so <laughs> impressed. <laughs> Give me like three hours to cool down. Yeah, we can wait. We can stall. <laughs> look, unpacking. I, I, a lot of me wants to say, all of me wants to say, you know, this is going to be a, guys, guys, this is going to be a chill stream and like nothing's going to go wrong and we're just going to chill out. But I'm afraid to say that because that's not what happens here. <laughs> That's never happened here. It, I'm a, I'm a little afraid of dog game part two. I won't lie. It does scare me. I have nightmares about it. <laughs> but look, we're just cleaning. You know, the ship, we just... Should she suffer? <laughs> no, I shouldn't suffer. All right, clap if you think she should suffer. Uh, don't clap. Don't clap at that. Dog game was brilliant. <laughs> I don't need a part two. I don't need a part two. <laughs> Man, shout out to the developers of Dog Game. I forgot what the name of it was. Shout out to them. They're not bad. Their game just uh, killed me. <laughs> but unpacking should be fine, right? We're just like unpacking boxes. We're getting the ship spruced up a little bit. We, we had to take everything out. We had to get like big butterfly nets and catch all of our crap and put it into boxes. So now we're kind of putting it all back up. Shouldn't be too hard. Have you played AC before, like Animal Crossing? Or like an air conditioner? <laughs> I've played both. I'm like an expert at playing the air conditioner, actually. Don't test me on it. I could go pro. Both? <laughs> yeah, I've played both. <laughs> no, I've played Animal Crossing. I love Animal Crossing. Then I'll be fine? Okay. I'll use all my Animal Crossing skills. I'm very good at unpacking boxes. I'm not the most organized person, but look, I can do this. I can do this. Just like, we'll be okay. Everyone hold hands, hold hands to your nearest frog and we'll be okay. Who's my favorite villager? That's really hard. Okay. I know this is like maybe a normie answer now. <laughs> it gets me every time. This is like, she wasn't that popular until like the new game came out, but I love Fauna. Fauna, she's a deer. She's adorable. And she's just a very normal deer. But like, I felt like this like connection to her when I was a kid growing up and playing like Animal Crossing. I don't have hands. <laughs> Pigeon, we're going to get you some like robot hands and they're going to like go over you like like a little belt. I like the sad octopus Takuyaki guy. Yeah, he's cool. I love him too. My top would be like Fauna. Um, who else? There's a frog that I like, but I can't remember. I know I like Prince. Prince is really good. He's like, he's just like a silly little frog guy. He's just a little guy. He doesn't, he just, he doesn't know anything. He has no brain cells. He's just, he's just small. <laughs> who else? Hmm. Thinking of like my top three. Ooh, Lily. Lily's really good. I love Lily. I don't think Fauna's a normie answer. Something like Raymond is normie. I have a <laughs> I I have a confession. I don't like Raymond. And I I got Raymond. <laughs> I I got Raymond and <sighs> I felt like maybe like it just wasn't meant to be, you know? It's just, he's fine. He's a, he's a cat, you know? He's a cat. <laughs> he's a cat with glasses. It's very cool, everyone. I, he's great. Don't cancel me. Don't come after me now. Isn't there some big gorilla with lipstick? Oh, Poppy. Poppy's good too. The gorilla for the Hello Kitty collection is odd. <laughs> It was a very odd choice when there are cats in the game to make 
the Hello Kitty Animal Crossing Villager a gorilla? It's really bizarre. <laughs> um, I don't really understand the concept, but I guess I appreciate it. <laughs> I appreciate that they did something different. Apollo and Wolfgang are my wild world homies. I loved Apollo. Apollo is super cool. He's like a dad villager to me. <laughs> like that's my that's my dad friend. I love him. But yeah, Fauna, Prince, and Lily are definitely up there. As for like NPCs, I love Brewster. I love Brewster so much. I, <laughs> I think it's because he reminds me of Pigeon. I think that's why I like him so much. He just, he doesn't even really have a face. He just kind of sits around. <laughs> he sits around and drinks coffee. I, I like that. I like that in NPC. Rooster is amazing. <laughs> he really is. Old Rossetti is goaded. I was so scared of Rossetti as a kid. I, I was terrified of him. <laughs> I lived in fear. I, <laughs> oh man. And he's not really in the, I don't think he's really in the new games, is he? I think he has like a cameo, but I don't think he's like a common occurrence. Maybe because he's frightening. He was a dick. <laughs> a little bit. He was pretty scary. Man, let me, let me switch over. Where to think uh, Animal Crossing Axolotl Shrink is how I found out that axolotls are real and for real. <laughs> to be fair, I actually I think that I just thought he was like a monster. I don't even think I knew he was an axolotl. He is. He can like rescue in Animal Crossing New Horizons if he gets stuck somewhere. Really, I didn't know that. I would never get stuck. I'm I'm a pro, so obviously. <laughs> Can't believe they fired or steady. How could they do that? Man, it's this economy. I'm telling you Am I Here here man, this is really like a staple in <laughs> in Plibit streaming just a like direct opening to the audio page I'm very picky about it, you know same, which is like young me looked and was like, what the fuck is this pink crazy monster in this game? Please help. <laughs> then I saw axolotls and I was like, no way, that's a real animal. They are pretty freaky. Here, we're gonna start by putting all the shit on the ground, okay? I hope you guys are ready. Dude, we're like a soccer champion. Let's go. No, axolotls are cool. Like, I've seen them in, like, pet stores and whatnot, but... I... I don't know. Wait, there was someone in chat at some point that owned, like, 30 or something, right? <laughs> I think that was during the Planet Zoo stream. They were just casually like, yeah, I have, like, 30 axolotls in my house at this exact moment. Like, I don't even know what they eat. Do they eat worms? I don't know. Are they fish? <laughs> Do they eat bugs? Oh my god. Maybe we shouldn't put the scissors on the ground. That person had an entire zoo? Yeah, it was crazy. They had like 30 axolotls and like 30 frogs. That's so intense. I can't... <laughs> I can't even take care of a whole ship of frogs. I can take a picture? <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> Thank God. Are they amphibians? Doesn't that make them frog adjacent? Yeah, they're like our cousins, I think. But like distant, you know? Like the kind you don't really see often, but you'll still hug them and like... When they get married, you're like, whoa, I can't believe that. That's crazy. You probably won't go to their wedding, though. Uh, you had better stuff to do. You had some intense gaming on that day, so you couldn't go. Nice Spyro plush. Is this a Spyro? <laughs> yeah, we do have a fog plush. I didn't even notice. Look at this guy. Oh, we can put him over here. We're gonna get into some, like, intense decorating. Hold on to your horses, you guys. 
Oh, look at this guy. Can I rotate stuff? Let's rotate. Rotate. Oh my god, it makes noises. Does this one make noises? No. Oh. Oh, it sounds so sad. We have a pig? This guy has some sick toys. I know, I'm fucking jealous. Oh my god. Don't worry, we're gonna go through all this. Okay. This is like step one of cleaning. Uh, put all your shit on the floor. That's, that's like the first thing you should do, I think. I'm like a cleaning expert. I like the cat a lot. Where's the cat? I lost it. Oh, this one. Oh, it is pretty cute. It's like a little male cat. It's delivering packages. Good for him. I love a cat with a job. Make sure that Tamagotchi is fed. It's dead. It's <laughs> no longer being fed. It's dead. Here, we'll put the pig up here. And we'll put the frog up here. They're having a party up here. Also, let me know if it's a little loud. I think it's fine. Can... How do I... Oh, how did I do that? How did I... Oh, it's right click. I'm a genius. Let's go. Volume good? Oh my god. Thank god. Oh. <laughs> okay. We're, we gotta have a party up here. Me and all my VTuber friends. This is Shy Pig. This is Laggy. <laughs> this one's FJ. FJ, you get to be this guy. There we go. Dude, we're all having a party. I can't believe it. Put the backpack like right in here. Now I'm duck, you are a duck. Why are you still playing? You unpacked the boxes, you won, right? Ugh. I mean, honestly, like, I feel like, I feel like this is it, you know? I feel like I should have gotten paid, but I gotta work hard for the money, you know? Allegedly. The VTuber party. <laughs> Me and all my VTuber friends. This is exactly what it looks like. Dude, my little ponies, let's go. Oh, they're kind of like the off-brand ones, though. You can tell by the no cutie mark, you know? I'm an expert. I'm a pony expert. <laughs> Very knowledgeable in the world of ponies. <gasps> Whoa. Okay, this is sick. I'm not lying, I would probably have this poster in real life, but right now. I'm gonna put this above the bed. For good dreams. What is this? Procedure? Oh, this is like operation. Operation is so scary. I never liked Operation. Rose got Apple Pony and Peach Pony Jelly. Yeah. It's pretty cool. Don't be look. Don't be too jealous. We got to we got to see their authenticity first, don't worry. Got to check this out, you know. I don't like the way the patient looks in Operation. That's what I'm saying. It makes me really uncomfortable. I don't like it. I don't know. I don't like the way he screams. It like, <laughs> it like, it makes me scared. I don't, I don't like it. I don't want to hurt. I don't, I don't want to hurt him. I'm not a doctor. I'm not an expert. Ooh, let me put this here. Trash can goes under the desk. So you kick it every once in a while. And you never put anything in it. You just put it all atop of your desk. And then like once every three months, you just scoop all the trash into a garbage bag. And then that's what <laughs> that's how that works. Gotta put our soccer trophy over here. Maybe we'll put our... Oh, cool. We have, a... <laughs> we have storage. Can I put this in here? No. 
Can I put this? Yeah, put operation back there. We're not playing it. We can put the camera in there. Please put the trash in the trash can cap. No, I'm not. Why would I do that? It's much easier to keep it on your desk so you know where all the trash is. And like I said, you just take one hand and like scoop it across the desk. And like, who knows? Maybe you'll like throw away a mouse or something. You never know what's gonna happen, but... Wait, can I open this one? Oh my god. Scissors go off the floor. Not, not on the floor. Put the Tamagotchi out so it can annoy us a little bit, so we know to defeat it. There we go. <laughs> Dude, what would I do if I wasn't little lettering? I don't know what I'd do. I'd probably like lose my mind or something. Is this checkers? What is this? going in here oh it doesn't fit because my stupid soccer ball I knew I shouldn't have done sports okay stick that in there oh my god perfect and this what is this what toy is this It looks like the things that would, like, shock you. Like, you touch it and it, like... Simon says maybe. You guys remember the toy that, like, you ask it a question and it, like, shocks you? That Simon says? Maybe I've never owned this? Is it- does it just tell you what to do? Is it just Simon says? Is that all it is? Dude, we got Bebop and Rock Steady over here. Let's go. You push the buttons that make. Oh, it's that game. Like, okay, okay. That makes sense. This is kind of me. This one right here. I didn't have it as a kid either. Yeah. Look. We couldn't have all been as, like, fortunate to have Simon Says. <laughs> you rich frogs. Rub it in, why don't you? We put... Oh, my bookshelf's full. I'll put it there. In fact, this needs to go down here. I'm gonna put this like this. And this like this. Wait, no. Like that. There we go. But yeah, I thought it was one of those things that's like, you ask it a question, and it like, if you're like, considered incorrect, it like, shocks you. I don't think we should have given those to children. I, I don't think that was meant for kids. That can't be good for your brain. I mean, I turned out fine, but... Maybe, does that fit in there? No. Like a lie detector toy? What? No, you guys know what I'm talking about. Don't pretend. I know you do. It's, it's like... <laughs> okay, it's like... It's like a toy. What toys did you have? <laughs> Look, I grew up in space. It's a little different, I guess. But... It's like... You ask a question. And it's like... You're with, a f with, you're, you're with like friends and whatnot. And it's like... If it's wrong... It, it, it shocks you. It gives you like an electric shock. And like it doesn't know whether you're right or wrong. It, it's just kind of random. <laughs> they have different toys in space. Don't be too judgmental. That's what I'm saying. Look, be open-minded. It's a different type of lifestyle. I don't expect you to understand. Oh my Game Boy. Oh my Game Boy goes in there. And then my Tamagotchi. Oh my god. Perfect. I'm gonna put my ponies away. No one be too upset about it. I'm putting all the ugly toys away, actually. 
No car. No more car. I can keep this guy and this guy. Um... This is either Bebop or Rocksteady. I don't- I don't know which one, but I think he's gonna go in there. And this one's gonna go in there, too. And then, maybe the ponies, like, hang out down here. This is their ranch down here. And I was gonna say... This one kind of looks like... I don't know if any of you guys- any of you remember? What was the AI thing that was like... It was something like, if you put in like a sentence, it'll like, generate images. This is what the plibit in those images look like. <laughs> like, actually do a D. It's pretty good. I kind of dig like the red and the purple and with the green. It's kind of a look, not gonna lie. Dolly, yeah, Dolly! Man, me and Pigeon were talking about that and we couldn't remember the name of it. I called it Mew Mew. <laughs> I was like, I'm pretty sure it's Mew Mew. I'm, I'm almost certain. That sounds right. Mew Mew. <laughs> it's Mew Mew. Can I close the curtains? No, I can't. Dolly is fum. Dolly is fum. It's, it's mega fum. I think- is, are we done? Did we do it? Guys, I, I'm amazing at this. Let- I'm done. I did it. Let me out. Wait. Wait, things have to be in a certain place? Wait, I, I just don't get creative liberty on that kind of thing? Here? I thought this was just like, it's it's my room. I can put it where I want to. I got everything else right except the book? It's gotta be in here, right? Mom said no. Mom, what the fuck? Dude, I don't want someone going through my diary though. I can't be having that. But that looks bad. I can't leave all that on the desk. Game, you're insane. I can't leave scissors out. What if I, like, trip and fall? That's dangerous. I'm putting the Tamagotchi in bed. Oh, you won't let me do that. I hate it here. I can't wait till I move out. Perfect. Oh my god, we did so good. Good job, everybody. My own room. I can't believe it. Do you have a fear of scissors? <laughs> I mean, I wouldn't call it a fear. A fear implies that, like... <laughs> a fear would imply that it's, like, not... ...rational? My, my concern is totally rational. What is this? Ugh, okay, put this over the stain on the wall. Oh, we have another pig! Is this still us? Did we grow up? Toothbrush goes here. Actually, you know what? Uh, just everything on the floor. Aw, oh, but it doesn't get angry if I put stuff on the floor. I see how it is. Everything on the floor. It's all going on the floor. Just don't step on it. And don't look at my cool hats over here. What are these? God, how are we gonna fit all this in here? Put this here and... Okay. I'm gonna cover up this other stain on the wall. <laughs> With this cool picture of a monkey. You know how every house has like a picture of a monkey in it? Oh, okay. I gotta keep the mouse up here. Is this a mouse pad? Yes? Oh my god. It's so cool. Why do we own so many rulers? 
Have any of you ever used a ruler outside of school? And like, you're not like a person that makes like, I don't know, jewelry at home or something? I don't know. I don't know what you would use a ruler for. Oh, we still have this! The little plibbit! She goes up there. Plymouth is a certified ape from Board 8 Yacht Club. <laughs> you should really look into NFTs, they're the future. Oh, I'm so sorry. I'll make sure, I'll make sure I won't, I'll make sure, make sure I won't like take a cool picture of it. Look, none of you screenshot this right now, okay? Please. Don't do that. What are people doing with their NFTs now? Do you just like... <laughs> end <of> sarcasm? <laughs> do you just like keep it and frame it? That's what I would do. Oh, more stuff, oh my god. <laughs> They've got to hold on to them. They've got diamond hands. <laughs> Crying into them and hoping they didn't pay too much for them. I mean, I don't know much about NFTs. How much is an ape going for? Like one ape. One, one average ape. I would say like $20, right? It can't be more than that. The market's totally going to bounce back, everyone. <laughs> yeah, just hold on. Keep holding on. It'll come back, don't worry. Ooh. Okay, we'll put our clothes up first. None of our hangers are the- none of them look alike. I hate that. Okay, pajamas go down. Pajamas. I've seen a few articles of people investing hundreds of thousands and then someone else got a hold of the PNG they bought. Oh, that's so sad. Like, I know that, like, it's funny because obviously it's like, they're really dumb. <laughs> you are dumb if you, if you spend tens of thousands of dollars, or hundreds of thousands even, on a picture of a pixelated monkey, maybe you kind of, like, deserve it. <laughs> they originally went for $190 when they started. At some point, they were going for 10 plus K. They still have some high sales, but it's all shady business nowadays. If it was anything other than NFTs, but it's NFTs. <laughs> Man. $10,000 for a picture of a monkey? They're not even cool. They're not even cool monkeys. Oh, she has a frog heart t-shirt. That's adorable. Okay, we'll put that in the t-shirt pile. The hoodie needs to go up. Like, sorry to all of my ape fans out there, but I just don't think they're very cool looking, you know? Just like, get a fursona drawn or something. That's cool. Go do that. It's cool and like, arguably more profitable in the long run. Move this down. Wait, no, things should be this way. Yeah, 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 that's correct. Wait, where are my shoes go? Okay, shoes go there. Do I have two of them? <laughs> Do I have two shoes? Only one shoe? Okay, bag goes there. This is gonna be the shoe pile over here. 
Whoa, snakes with chests. Snakes, snakes, snakes. Man, it's been a minute since I've heard snakes but jazz. It just goes too hard, you know? <laughs> Man, snakes drum and bass just took over. It took the world by a storm. People are calling it like the new Despacito. And like, good for Pigeon, honestly, but I don't know. I hope he doesn't like outgrow us soon. Drink water? Fantastic idea. I'll, I'll give you a double. I'm gonna drink tea and then I'm gonna drink water. And that's for free. You're welcome. And I didn't even get puffer fished. What a fantastic day. <laughs> drink water. Yeah, okay, okay. I'll drink water. I think he's weighed down by all that bread he's getting. Man, he's getting so much bread. Bird's fed. He's mega fed these days. <laughs> That's <my detail. laughs> I wish it was spelled like that. I wish. I don't know. Maybe it could have been more popular, you know? It kind of fell off. Gotta make sure all my cool hats are organized. Go that way. Fine, be this way. This here. If these don't fit perfectly in this drawer, I'm quitting this game. <laughs> I can't take it. We're leaving. They do. Thank God. I didn't have anything else planned. Put this here. Is this like an autograph book? Kind of looks like it. And then all my files goes over there. Do I have other rooms? <laughs> yes, yes I do. Oh, and I have more boxes to unpack. Let's go. Okay, wait. <laughs> Let's focus on the bedroom. Focus on the bedroom. We're not going to get too distracted. The ship has a bathroom? <laughs> yeah, I mean... We have to have a little bathroom. Just in case. You know, in case there's like an accident or something. Um... But otherwise, you can just go in the water park. I, I don't care. I mean, I feel like we have a good filtration system, right? I think so. It's probably fine. Dude, we have a radio and an alarm clock? How much money do we have? We're rich. No one approved a new water park? No, we approved the new water park. It was proved. It was... It was it's there. I mean, granted, it, it is just a flooded room. It's just you open the doors and it's filled with water. But that's kind of what a water park is. I mean, it can't be that different. Whoa. I'm gonna put this here. Put this back here. The water park is here for safety after the firework incident. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you never know. I mean, all the water goes directly to that room. Every bit of water on the ship goes directly to that room. You need a drink? Go to that room. You need to shower? Go to that room. I don't know what to tell you. That's just how it works around here. Toothbrush? Here. Don't put your toothbrush on the sink. Put it in like a little cup or something. What are you, an animal? You can put it in the sink. <laughs> here, put it back here. And then put it... Well, you don't want it toilet side, though. <laughs> that way. Goes that way. It's quick, that's for sure. Man, it's your one-stop shop for water. I put my toothbrush on the floor. <laughs> I mean, that's always an option. 
It might be easier to get to. I mean, flamingos don't really have long arms to, like, grab stuff, you know? So, like, I can imagine, like, you just pick it up off the ground with your little beak. I don't know how you get to, like, the point where you're brushing your teeth. In fact, I don't know if you have teeth. Yeah, put this here. And put our DVDs over here. I step on it by accident. That's how I know where it is. Man, that's a great system. Kind of jealous, not gonna lie. I'll put this back here. I gotta have our piggy bank. That's big important. Do we have a keyboard? I don't think we do. <laughs> is it like tucked under the desk? I'm so glad we don't do that as like a society anymore. We kind of stopped making desks where the keyboard like folds underneath. At least I think we did. I could be totally wrong. I always used to get my hands stuck in those. Like it would just squish my entire hand. And maybe that's because I wasn't using it right. But <laughs> I think there was definitely some user error there. Can I put this on here? That PC is so old. Yeah, it's a little dusty. It's all reliable. I'm gonna put this back here. My PC's PC is probably as powerful as mine. I, I don't know about that. Why are we still here? <laughs> Just to suffer. Just to suffer. Ooh. Do oh, open up the cabinets. Soap. Where's soap? Soap here. We need like a little like a little dish for our soap. A mug? This doesn't go in here. Put it in here for now. Deodorant. I guess put it down here. Man, there's not a lot of storage. I can't I can't see. I'll put everything in the bathtub. That's another moving tip for you. Put everything in the bathtub. And then you know where everything's at. More toilet paper. Okay, that's gonna go in there. More to more toilet paper. Can you put the <laughs> toothbrush inside the toilet? I mean... Oh my god, you can! And the game doesn't even hate you for it. That's pretty good! It's so you remember to brush your teeth the first thing as you wake up. And just keep putting it there. That's a great idea. Trash can... Maybe a trash can back here. Frying pan. This doesn't go in here. It goes here. <laughs> no, no. What do you mean? It's ergonomic. Just have it by the toilet, just in case. You never know. And then the hairbrush, put back there. Man, what, what is, there's something in this cabinet right here that I can't get by. Okay, this is gonna go up here. Oh, I can just put the toilet paper like back here. Is the mirror a medicine cabinet? No, it's not. Man, honestly, I'd consider getting my deposit back. Let's find a new place. This place, it kind of sucks a little bit. And then, I guess we're just gonna throw all of this on the floor? That's sanitary. That's a really good idea. Wait, I can put it here! Towel rack! Can I put this one here? No. Okay, put this in the bathtub. And then you immediately have a towel for when you want to take a bath. Think smarter, not harder. Okay, next room. Oh my god, 10 billion forks. That mirror has no reflection or maybe you're just a vampire. Dude, don't give out my secrets like that, okay? I'm not a vampire, I swear. Wink wink. Nudge nudge. I promise. I only drink a little blood. But it's only on like... 
special occasions, you know? Give the towel the bath it deserves. <laughs> Man, it's stinky. It needs to stay in there. What is this? Is this a cup? It has no handle. How do I hold on to it? Okay, put it up there with the rest. Tiny cup. Sugar. Goes here. Always wash your toilet paper before using it. That's a great tip. That's a really good tip. I like that. Here, put all, everything in the sink. Oh, that's a really satisfying sound, actually. Wait. Come back. I can't put these on these? What do you mean? Oh, our keyboard! We found it! Oh. Oh, no. And my question has been answered. We don't actually have the hand squishy thing. Okay, this, this crap's going in here for right now. And I don't want to hear any guff about it. Also, bidets should be everywhere. And that's a base to be take. You can quote me on that. That's the correct take. Is this cooking oil? Put it, like, back there. Garbage bags. Uh, in there, I guess. Sponges. A spatula. More plates. More bowls. They're so uncommon that I'd search on Google what a bidet is, for real? I don't know, people get really heated about, like, bidets. I didn't know it was, like... It, it's such a... It's, it's such a... Controversial topic. <laughs> I don't think I've ever used one. Man, we have bidets all over the ship. That's actually, that's gonna be the new plivot order, I think. Install a bidet. First, we have to install a bathroom. Bathroom is probably more important than the bidet. Oh my god, put, 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 the, put the shoes together. Put them, put. We have like three left feet. I feel like bidets should be everywhere, but I've not really used one. Dude, get yourself a bidet. Do it. What? what? Get in! Get in, shoes! Get in! <laughs> okay. That goes there. They can go together, but they can't go there. I'm putting them here. They're going by the door. I've had enough. I've had enough of this guff. My art stuff is just on the ground. Put it up there. Perfect. Oh, we have more books. God, am I really gonna keep this on the floor? <laughs> that, that, I don't like it. I don't like it, you guys. Put it up here. Oh, that's a great idea. I don't know how sanitary that is, but. Put each shoe in a different place. Yeah, here. Have this here and have this here. And it's for like, if you go outside, then you know you never know what the weather's gonna be. Um, so if it's raining, you have one foot that's good, and if it's not, you have one foot that's good. 
You get the best of both worlds. Hannah Montana feet. <laughs> Actually, now that I said that, I don't like that I said that. Scratch that from the record real quick. Go into the VOD. Get rid of that. <laughs> More spoons. Put the knife on the toaster. I'm not I'm not doing that. Best of Nora. Man, Hannah Montana, she just goes so hard. Wait, where does our knife go? I don't want to keep it out. It's dangerous. You can't just keep sharp things like that out. Oh. <laughs> move move everything. This is under... Oh my god. Maybe here. Put the plates up here. Oh my god. <laughs> just like, just s s scoot everything to the side. I love the fact that you tried to put the knife on the toaster. <laughs> I sincerely did think about it. It crossed my mind. Look, desperate times call for desperate measures, okay? Wait, don't put this under the sink. No, no, no. Don't put anything you're gonna eat under here. It's nasty under here. It's nasty and it stinks. Don't do that. I don't- what is this? Is this- what is this? <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate it. Thank you. Okay. Oh, there's a can opener. Okay, can opener goes there. Spatula. Thank you. Oh my god, thank you. You guys are too you're too, you're too kind. Thank you so much. Guys, which is the correct way to do this? Don't put the knife up there. It's dangerous. Why not? <laughs> Why not? Just a knife dangling over your microwave? What's wrong with that? What could go wrong? Oh my god, it's forks. It's not that hard. What is the correct way to put these in the drawer? I believe it's knife, fork, spoon. Knife, fork, spoon, get rid of this. Teaspoon. I think that's right. I think that's 100% correct. And if you don't do it like that, then you are wrong. Sorry. Man, we have a giant thing of salt. Cutting board. Let's put these here. These here. How would you reach this? How, how do you... How do you get to this? It's gonna fall on your head. Here, put this under here. I don't know what it is, but it's going under there. Um, oh, oh, wait. Well, you definitely can't reach that, but you have to tiptoe. You need a full on ladder. That's like eight feet in the air. Maybe nine. It's intense. Okay, this goes up here with a knife. And the spoon. This up there. I still don't know what this is. It is it is it like scissors? Is it a scissor? Is is it like a can opener? I'm gonna put it there. Oh, our George Foreman. Okay, this is all going up here for now. It's a jar opener grip? Vegetable peeler. Maybe it's both. I can see either one. Man, we'll put it up here. Who needs to eat vegetables anyways? And put the George Foreman on the sink. 
Fantastic. We'll be back. Wait, no, that was all we had to do? Just this? Okay, I guess we won't be back. I guess we're gonna stay here. George Foreman on the floor. Um... That goes there. So you can, like, wash and peel. Wash and peel. Wash, peel, throw. Wash, peel, throw. Pretty sure that's how it goes. Put these in the sink. Who needs them? Because something needs to go up here, and I don't know what yet. Man, we have a toaster and a kettle? We're filthy rich. Put the sugar here. Put it a little bit more towards the edge. And then... Just put everything in the trash bin. Yeah, good idea. Throw it all away. And honestly, good riddance. Who needed it? We'll put the George Foreman up here. That's not like an everyday tool. You're not using the George Foreman every day, you know? Only on like special occasions. <laughs> you bring out your fancy George Foreman. Maybe we'll have like a coffee cup down. Well, well, the game, the game won't let us do that. What kind of society do we live in? Where I can't keep my coffee cup on the counter. Ooh, here. I will use it every day. You can't stop me. I'll make vegetables with that. If you want to George Foreman all your vegetables, go right ahead. I won't stop you, but... Oh, what's wrong? What's what's wrong with my DVD collection? <laughs> I can't keep those next to me? What if I need to watch something? Or what if I need to read the back of it? Okay, soccer, <laughs> soccer ball goes there. The cat cannot go here. Maybe back here? Cat, go here. This go here? Oh my god, it's angry about the shoes? I mean, what am I supposed to do? Oh, here. <laughs> yeah, no, this is a good idea. Put the shoes like that. Perfect. <laughs> Oh, I can't put that there. I can't have my toothbrush on the toilet. We truly do live in a society. I hate this. This is all this is awful. What do you mean the shoes are in the wrong place? Unbelievable. That's what I'm saying. Oh, it goes here. Man, our house is so bad. It kinda most of it's good. The kitchen, like, kind of annoys me a little bit. Because the big plates, you're never gonna reach them. The bowls are just thrown over here. Oh, we're never using these cups. <laughs> and, I'm, and I will forget that George Foreman is there. It's no longer there. I, I no longer know it's there. And I will buy a new George Foreman because I didn't know I still- I already had one. I have to cook for myself? Uh-oh. <laughs> Dude, 2007. Oh my god, do, do we do cosplay? That's adorable. Dude, my DVD collection. Oh, my Plibbit! Oh, my Plibbit's still here. My god, there's already so much. Bad here. Radio here. Pot. We still have our pot. 
I don't know what I... What would I do without that giant pot? Cosplay? This is a real magical girl outfit. Dude, I just didn't want to out her like that. Who's she going at? She's like Sailor Venus. Dude, she's so cool. Blanket. God, more DVDs. Ugh. The kitchen's gross. Can can we wash this? What is this? Oh. Oh, the bathroom is also like a little It need, it needs help. Never watch Sailor Moon? That's fine. To be honest, like, Sailor Moon, I wouldn't suggest, honestly, watching the old one. Uh, because it's, it's a lot of filler content. And I didn't, I don't think I fully realized that when I was, like, watching it as a kid. But, like, are there episodes where it's, like, really, like, the plot is going, it's really going somewhere, it's taken off, and then there are episodes where it's, like, we baked cookies all day and learned the meaning of eating healthy. Catch us next time on Sailor Moon. <laughs> and it's... I, I wouldn't suggest those episodes. That's why I think, like... Even though, like, Sailor Moon Crystal with as many, like... Uh, as much guff as it got, like, back in the day when it came out... I think it does a really good job of, like, no filler, you know? Yeah, just like Naruto. Probably so. I've actually never watched Naruto, but I imagine it's the same thing where it's like... Now we take a brief intermission to talk about the importance of, I don't know, dental hygiene. <laughs> it's like... It's good. I like that it does that, but... Can you imagine if like other animes did that though? Like in the middle of like, I don't know, Attack on Titan. We learn, like, what to do in case of, like, a fire emergency. <laughs> what do you do? Learning to be okay with, like, body dysmorphia with Aaron Yeager. Naruto has a lot of shitty filler. Yeah, I've never, I've never gotten into Naruto. I don't know. I think, I think it's one of those things that, like, when it was like really popular, I, I feel like I I don't think I was too I don't think I was too old for it, but I thought I was. <laughs> I think I mean people my age were really into it, but the non fillers cash money. <laughs> I believe it. I said a Naruto thing. Don't they say that? Believe it? Putting this down here. Believe it, yeah. Dude, I'm like a Naruto expert. You'd be surprised. Believe it. Put this up here. God, we have so many books. Read less. But then you'll have more space for cool stuff. My first anime ever was a French one called Wakfu. I still I remember seeing stuff about Wakfu. I don't know what it is, but I definitely remember seeing like fan art or just like random stuff. Is it good? Ooh, hat. It's like a little pumpkin hat. I'll put hat here. Hat go here. Ooh, our like postcard book or whatever this is. Wakfu is really good, can't re recommend it enough. Cool. 
Mine was Pokemon, but that's a cop-out. <laughs> Pokemon's a good starter one, though. I don't know. My first anime was, like... I had no idea what anime was. And I just remember seeing, like... Like, it was on YouTube, like, videos of, like, this anime called Vampire Night. <laughs> and I wouldn't recommend it to anyone. I, it's not good. But that was, like, my first experience with anime. And it blew my mind. Like, at that moment, you could not have convinced me there was a better show. My first anime was Sailor Moon. That's a really good one to start with, though. And I guess my first one was technically Sailor Moon. It was probably technically Sailor Moon, but I don't think I, like, understood it was anime, if that makes sense. I feel like I just saw it as, like, a cartoon. Man, thank god we kept all our, like, cool posters and stuff. I didn't understand what anime was until now, Naruto. <laughs> Dude, I'll give you the Naruto rundown. It's a kid who uh, is a ninja. Uh-huh. He's a ninja. And he does magic. He's a magician. Um, and he is also like a fox or something. He turns into a fox. That's Naruto. <laughs> Inuyasha was probably mine. I never watched Inuyasha. I always wanted to, and to be honest, like, I still want to. I feel like I just missed out on it for some reason. I'm not old enough to be able to watch those animes on TV as a kid. <laughs> That's fair. I think mine wasn't Pokemon, it was probably Yu-Gi-Oh, then OG Naruto. I still count Teen Titans. Teen Titans was so good. I was obsessed with Teen Titans. I loved Teen Titans. God, am I running out of hangers? Here, put this- <laughs> hang it on the floor. <laughs> Teen Titans had some great characters, it really did. I, I remember really liking Starfire. I'm sure that's not really a huge surprise, but... <laughs> but I loved Starfire, she's so cool. And I think that was, like, the first, like, kind of goofy, like, girl in, like, a superhero gang that I remember. Like, she's just goofy. She's just a goofball. God, what is this file folder? Nice. We have our degree. Dude, it's my degree in driving spaceships. It's totally legit. Don't look at it too close, though. So maybe I'll take this off. Put that there. This here. Put my pig up here. Man, I got rid of all of my, like, <laughs> all of my cool stuffed animals. What a tragedy. Robin, Cyborg, yeah. I loved Cyborg too. Cyborg was cool. What is this? What is this? Is this a vacuum? Let's go in here. And my nice one pound weights. Gonna get a mega workout with those. How does my computer get under there? 
Oh, it goes in here, that's right. I forgot that that's a thing. Like desks having like little compartments for computers. No, Raven loves the friend. Dude, Ra Raven's cool. I like Raven. I, but Raven, look. Let's be real. Let's be real. Raven's a little overhyped, no? Just a smidge. Just a smidgen. I mean, it's like everyone loves Raven. She sees the future and everything, and she has a little brother named Cory. <laughs> Guys, laugh. You're contractually obligated to laugh at that. Report, hey! <laughs> Dude, no reporting, no reporting. I still think she's cool. Where's my frisbee go? Where do I... It's going under the bed. It's going under the bed. I no longer care. And my files are going in my chair. Who is Tara Strong? That's the voice actress, I think, right? I think she's cool. Who else did she voice? She voiced... <laughs> is this... This might be a stretch, but doesn't she voice, like, I don't know, like, Timmy Turner? In, like, Fairly Odd Parents? She does a lot of, like, really different stuff. Move. Oh, can I not move my roommate stuff? Dude. She was like in every cartoon in the late 2000s? I thought so. God, this place is gross. I can't hide. At least my George Foreman is still on the roof. I told you, you put it up there and you're never getting it down. Knives, forks, spoon. Oh, I'm a genius. I'm an absolute genius. Never doubt my organization skills. I know the ship gets dirty and everything, but never doubt. Thoughts on sporks? Thank you for asking me that. You know, since I started streaming, I've been kind of waiting for someone to ask me about it. And, uh, you know, I have thoughts on sporks. I think that they're not good. And here's why. I can't drink soup with a spork. I can't. I cannot drink soup with a spork. It's a fork. It's just a fork. It's a fork that holds things better maybe than a normal fork. And it gets props for that. Like, that's- that's not- that's not easy. But... It- it just- it, it's- it does not- it's not suitable as a spoon. 
It's only doing half the work. I love the English name for that. Did the French call spork something different? <laughs> What's French for spork? <laughs> I thought it was universal. I agree, sporks don't solve the, prob the problems they promised you. That's what I'm saying. Like, I, I, they... Everyone puts them on a pedestal like they're special. Just because they're different. But they don't work. They're not good. Now a fork knife. I'm on board with a fork knife. I can get down with a fork knife. And I think because it has a bit of like a danger quality to it. Makes it a bit more exciting, I think. Cutochette? Cutochette? Is that, is that French for spork? I hope so. It kind of makes sense. I mean, is that not just like fork and, sp and spoon put together? I mean, I guess that's what <laughs> I guess that's what spork is. It definitely sounds more professional than spork. You can't be an adult who eats with a spork. <laughs> you have to pronounce the I more. Kiaito shit. That doesn't sound right. <laughs> I think I went in the opposite direction. Kyoto, Kyoto shet. I'm fluent in French. I am. I have a certificate and everything. You can't look at it though. I I lost it. What are these? Is it like pills? Put them in there with those. Okay, this is in the wrong place. But is there a right place to put a giant accordion file folder? Maybe up here? That's good. French can be really hard to pronounce. Look! I've told you guys, I'm like a natural. At everything. Every single thing. <laughs> the frisbee can just stay under the bed. Let me hide it a bit more. There we go. So that's good. Oh, oh, I didn't do he. I didn't do this. The words itself aren't hard. The way you construct sentences is the hardest. Yeah, it is. I'm. I know a tiny bit, like, like. Il, illa, like the, like the, uh, masculine, feminine, uh, all of those. That's where it lost me. Um, I can't do it past that. I refuse. It wasn't meant for me, you know? Covering the, pl <laughs> the diploma, now that's real. <laughs> look, you guys can't look at my space diploma. Uh, I, you just can't. I... Just don't look at it, okay? Dude, where's my GameCube gonna go? My GameCube and all my GameCube games. I guess I'll go like right there. Words have genders, so it's hard for me to think that objects are genderless. Yeah. It's funky. Put Blanky. Blanky just goes on couch. Blanky stays on couch. You never know when you're gonna need a Blanky. Keep a Blanky in every room. Where does this go? Oh, it goes there. Where does this go? <laughs> There. What gender is frog? That's a fantastic question. What gender is frog? 
I think it depends on the frog. <laughs> Men, I guess you just gotta ask them. Ooh. Oh, I did it. I finished. Man, I'm knocking through these female. That's what I thought. Dude, the future is female and so are frogs. Congratulations, everyone. You're all women. The French have dictated. They have ruled you are women. Congrats. Ooh, this one has like a window. Cool. Dude, we're like, we have like a cool apartment now. We're not a dork anymore. I say that. Here come the figurines. Put these here. Dude, we have Xbox games. Let's go. Underwear. Underwear doesn't need to be in here. Rich, yeah, dude. We got a promotion. We're living it up now. We got an Xbox and everything. Put this up here. We have a bug? <laughs> we have a bug! Just a beetle. Look at that guy. Chicken? More of- what is this thing? Is this like a CD holder? More chicken! Oh, oh my god! Oh, oh, look at them! We're a family! Another blankie. Moving and packing is never easy, plus unpacking and finding where to put it is difficult too. That's that's very true. <laughs> I definitely prefer the unpacking though. Just throw everything on the floor. Look through it and uh, maybe get to it one day. <laughs> but just leave it on the floor for now. I'm sure it'll be fine. Also, hi XCA, how's it going? Now it's really Animal Crossing. <laughs> yeah, we have our chicken. We have our bug in a box. I don't know that you should keep your bugs in a box, but we do. I was never a fan of consoles other than Nintendo's, and the only thing I had was the Xbox with Halo 2. Yeah, kind of same. I didn't. I don't think I I knew that there were consoles that weren't a Nintendo DS or like a Wii. I don't think I understood that until I was like a teenager. Like, Nintendo was like the end-all be-all for me. Oh, another chicken! Okay. We're gonna- Oh, the chickens are gonna go on the speakers. So when we listen to music, they can like jam out with us. And get rid of every book you own. No more owning books. We're done with that. That's her squares. Books are the hardest thing to pack up and move around. They're like 8 billion pounds. I got my laptop back from the repairman, but the layout is different from before, so I'm trying to adjust it. No! <laughs> Good luck with that. I love playing the shit out of my Wii until it stopped working. I loved Wii Sports so much, dude. I was a Wii Sports bowling champion. I, I could take anyone any day. I was born for it. And even now, like, on the new Wii Sports, I'm kind of goaded. I will say the new one, the new Wii Sports doesn't... I enjoy it, but it definitely, like... It definitely doesn't have the same charm, I guess. The same kind of funky charm. Ooh, we have like fancy clothing now. 
Damn, I was doing so many strikes. My fa my friends are so mad. <laughs> Dude. And like, the trick to it is do as little movement as possible. That's the real secret. Wii Sports really requires no movement at all. Just a flick of the wrist, you know? Just wah. Just like wah. Just like a little flick. That's all it takes. Write that down. You could be a champion one day. You could go pro if you wanted to. Imagine if there was a grill in those boxes. Yeah, I just pulled out like a full barbecue grill. <laughs> you know what I need in my New York high rise? My barbecue grill. You know, our George Foreman, I say that, our George Foreman is definitely in here somewhere. You know we can't leave without our George Foreman. Write that down. <laughs> Guys, write that down. Write that down. <laughs> Man, I gotta get that emote immediately. I need it. I knew you would say it. <laughs> Look. I can only say, like, I only have, like, ten jokes. I have to I have to go through them every, like, ten minutes. <laughs> oh, my God. This is a real... This is a real pivot problem. Don't, I don't want the slipper. Put that back. Oh, our mug is broken. No. God. That was a rough move. Guys, I gotta tell you, if we ever move into a new spaceship, I'm just throwing everything away. I'm- I'm- we're just gonna- we're- I hate to say it. The ship will no longer be here. It will be atomized. So don't, like, grow too accustomed to everything. It says fragile on the box. Did it really? <laughs> Whoops. Oh yeah, some of them do say fragile, don't they? What's fragile? <laughs> too late. <laughs> Look. These symbols are a suggestion. They're not... You're not meant to take them seriously. You can't just throw away my baguette collection. <laughs> no, I'm being serious. The entire ship is going up in flames. Um, we're not moving. I don't want any boxes. I said that as a joke, but it is true. There, it does say fragile. <laughs> Are we atomizing truths too? <laughs> um, a red copper band. Yeah, I'm super rich. Yeah, truths. Uh, I will say that like. It's not a true specific thing. We're not gonna try to atomize truths, but if truths, if you happen to be on the ship when we do eventually atomize it, it's just you know it is just what it is. You will get atomized, and that goes for all of you, except for Pigeon. I have to help him. He doesn't have hands. He can't can't get around very good, and he's like stuck in a little loaf of bread. So. I'm gonna pick up Pigeon, and then that's the only one I'm picking up. I will haunt you. <laughs> Please don't. We have enough ghosts on this ship. We have too many ghosts on this ship, actually. He's always in the walls, so I think he's a goner. <laughs> yeah, like I said, if you're in the walls, we're not gonna search the walls. Oh, we're not. I just, we don't have time for that. Because you know if we like explode the ship, then it I mean that's gonna be like a big to do. And I don't really wanna be late for that. Because we might have like pizza afterwards or something. The only pigeon I know is from Mike Tyson Mysteries. <laughs> I don't know what that is, but I do know that Mike Tyson loves pigeons. He like loves pigeons. 
It's like the patron saint of pigeons. Hello, Plivet. Hi, Jackson. How's it going? I will always be in your walls. Whatever can happen to me, I'll be there. I mean, not if I atomize the walls. If the walls aren't there, then uh, you cannot be there. Is this, this is not, this is for the bathroom. Oh my God. Get rid of this dinky trash can. <laughs> this little nasty trash can. I can't believe we moved into like a bigger home and we have less storage space. <laughs> I hate rich people. Why do they live like this? I'll find you at the second you approach another wall. I'm forever in your attic. Yeah, we gotta check the ship's attic at some point. I don't know what's up there. I think it's dusty. Mike Tyson and Plibbit both love pigeons. I have never seen Mike and Plibbit the same room. Just saying. Dude, I'm gonna need you... Uh, look, I'm gonna need... I'm gonna need you to stop saying that. And I'll have you know that, like, even though I'm a really good boxer, maybe a world champion, um, I, I don't like that type of, like, heresy being put around the ship, you know what I mean? I'm definitely not Mike Tyson. Don't look into it. Don't. I Don't look into it. Where do I put all my crap? Who did I move in with? This guy sucks. This guy left me no room to put any of my stuff. Here, I'll, I'll stick it stick it in there. My home is dusty. <laughs> it's not dusty, I'll dare you. Okay, well if you're keeping the attic clean, you can stay. You can stay in the attic. That's fine. <laughs> Damn, Flip is doing boxing and unboxing. Man, I'm a world champion boxer and unboxer. What can I say? They just, I'm just built different. They don't make them like me anymore. God. We own too much stuff. This game makes me want to get rid of everything I own. <laughs> it's everywhere. There's everything is everywhere. Our, our medicine kit. Where? In the sink. It goes in the sink. Oh, here's our George Foreman grill. Where's this gonna go? Can it go on top of the fridge? It can. It's had many years of not being used at all. Oh, we can... We can move this stuff around? Cool. Our mixer. Man, we got the Vitamix. We're making bank. What do we do? Keep what you need and throw out the crap? That's what I'm saying. And 90% of it's crap. Who needs this stuff? Put the med kit in the shower in case you fall because of the wet floor. That's a great idea. Man. Troops, you always have the best ideas. Where do you come up with this stuff? Every night I walk around the attic refurbishing. Yeah, I mean, like, up in the attic, all we have is, like, old spacesuits and, like, maybe some, like, Plibit Pop prototypes up there. Uh, try saying that three times fast. So, it's, a, uh, it's a bit of a mess. It's not, I, I wouldn't want to be up there, but, but I'm glad you're making it your home. I'm glad you're, like, finding, like, a place for you up there. That's good. Where are the cereal boxes? Man, we don't eat cereal. I'm- I'm- we're- we're grown. We- we have money now. You can see that by our immense bug collection. And our cool wine glasses. I just have a little gnome I keep in my closet. It gives me such helpful ideas. Okay, well. Make sure to get the gnome out before we atomize the ship. I actually, I don't want, I don't want that little guy's blood on my hands. That'd be sad. I don't want that. I 
I miss the toys you get from cereal boxes. I've never gotten a toy in a cereal box. I, that's like a myth to me. I've never even seen it. Maybe I just ate the crappy cereal. Maybe, maybe I ate like the adult cereal or something. I don't know. Like I've always heard about that, but I've never seen one in real life. Wait, there was a box in here this whole time? Damn, you're really about to reduce me to dust, but not the no. <laughs> well, look, that little guy, he can't help being here. Likely the blood wouldn't be on your hands, atomizing would send it straight into your lungs. You bring up a fantastic point. And then we could have like a little ceremony where we breathe in the ship. Oh my god, you're a genius. Man. Every stream you guys remind me why I keep you around. You guys have the best ideas. We just all inhale as <laughs> it gets atomized. Hey, troops, can I see you look up? Hello. <laughs> the smile. The little smiley face. Really adds to it, I think. I mean, Jackson, I'm assuming you're the one- I mean, there has been talk of frogs crawling around in the vents. Uh, and that is connected to the attic, so... I'm assuming that's you. <laughs> I don't know, I've just- I've, I've heard some rumors of the- of the frogs crawling around up there. Gotta do something about that. Walls are comfy. <laughs> Guys, I give you guys- I give you all so much space to like spread your feet out and like relax. I mean, granted, it's not that big. It's like a closet for each of you, but you're tiny, so it like makes sense. You don't need a whole lot of space, but... And still, you just want to be in the walls and in the vents and in the attic. <laughs> Kid, just be normal. Be like Vigil. Vigil sleeps in a cage. <laughs> we, we had to put him in a in a little container. And I think he likes it, but... You're the frogs, but if frogs is in quotations, that's scary. I don't like the sound of that. Only frogs are allowed on this ship. You don't want to see what happens to non-frogs. Yeah, what a hard way to remind me that I'm short. Dude, you're, you're not short, you're just frog-sized. There's nothing wrong with being frog-sized. I mean, I'm only like three inches tall, so... God, this guy's... Wait, I can move his stuff too? Can I throw it away? It's messing with my vision. I never go exploring the vents. Sure. I'll act like I believe that. No, I know the frogs go inside the vents because you leave all like the vent doors sticky. It's all the plivy pops. Frog sized flamingo. <laughs> yeah, you're just you're frog sized. Nothing wrong with being frog sized. I truly don't. That's not me. Sure, sure. You know, I hear that a lot. I hear the frogs who say, like, all the sticky door handles uh, with green goo on them. That's not me. I wouldn't do that. All the frog-shaped holes in the wall from when you guys try to, like, jump through the wall like the Kool-Aid, man. I, that wasn't me. I didn't do that. You guys, we go through this, like, all the time. You can't keep getting away with it.
<laughs> Why are you so short? Just go to the gym, bro. <laughs> Dude, you just gotta- you have to work out long ways. Do some vertical exercises. No, just don't be short. It's not that hard. Get yourself put in like a Laffy Taffy machine. And just get stretched out. Oh yeah, I mean, nope, not me. Sure, 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 sure. Right, not you. I definitely believe that. Put this here. Put that there. God, this guy didn't leave any room for my degree. Where am I gonna put it? Under the bed? <laughs> yeah, that's good. I'll just keep it under the bed then. That in there. Wait, can I move his shoes? Oh, I can. I mean, I'm just assuming it's a guy. Lots of like, dude stuff in here. Put that there. <laughs> My workout gear also goes under the bed. Monster on your bed can appreciate how smart and successful you are. That's true. That's true. <laughs> At least someone will appreciate me. <laughs> Sag. <laughs> it's not slime, it's mucus. <laughs> That's disgusting. I never want to hear that again. Nah, it's definitely Plibby Pops. That's what it is. You guys just eat lots of candy. Which, granted, I don't think you guys know what real food is. You just eat candy that I've specially formulated for you. And it's good for you. There's 700 calories each. Which is good for you and your bones. Your small frog bones. The weird coup I was eating was mucus all along. <laughs> I mean... I think it's better not to think about it. Where does my knife go? Why did I keep this knife for like 20 years? Put this here and then, then put it back. Or not. Don't put it back, I guess. We have our weird jar opener thing. Where are the towels? How many bones are we supposed to have? I don't think I was given all of mine. I mean... Frogs! I feel like frogs are like pretty gelatinous, you know? I feel like they don't need many bones. Um, and I have like... Specially like designed all of you. Um, to not have that many bones. Uh, just for safety reasons. Uh, so... I'd say you have like one kind of jelly bone that goes down your center and then you have like arms and like little legs. I think that and, and they're all like kind of flexible. I, I think I think that's how that works. Oh my god, a huge knife. Frogs have just one ball bone? Yeah, just like one big circle. Uh, you bring up a great point. I don't know, maybe I'll have to, I'll have to like, put one of you through like an x-ray machine. Oh, put that up there. God, my little cat laptop. It's in the way. Don't keep your laptop next to the sink. That's a bad idea. It's gonna get wet. And then you're gonna be like, oh, I can't believe this happened. But it's your fault. You did that. I'm not talking from personal experience, I swear. Only once. It only happened once, you know. 
fine. He got me. I did go into the vents. <laughs> I know it. Look, I know everything that happens on this ship. I've invested a lot in surveillance uh, cameras, so... I know. I know what happens. Nothing gets by me. I'll put this weird coffee thing up. Experimenting on the crew. Pog. Same as always, you know. I stream a little. I experiment on frogs. I fly through space. You know, it's just kind of the daily routine. You know, just the daily grind. How else am I going to... How else am I going to watch B with a bash babish while cooking dinner? <laughs> Look, no more binging with babish. No more. We will have no more binging or babish. No more. God, it's like we live in a lab. Wait, I was being experimented on? Um, no. No. No, I don't think so. I didn't see it. Did, I don't think, did you guys see that? No experiments. No, no experiments. I'll put this up here. God, where am I supposed to... Move, move this. We're putting these up here. What happens in the experiment room stays in the experiment room. That's what I'm saying. I mean, look, that's just frog business. It's only frog business. I was having strange dreams. <laughs> look, I, it wasn't... No, that's, that's not... I don't think it's related. I think it's totally unrelated. Okay, fine. The, you can watch Being with Babish. I'll allow it. The, this can stay here. Uh, this looks bad. I don't like... we. This kitchen looked like really nice and chic when we came in here and we filled it with a bunch of our like nasty little garbage. I'm telling you, get rid of everything. That's plimid advice. Get rid of everything. Throw it all away. Atomize it if you need to. You don't need it. My GameCube. Where's my GameCube gonna go? I hate it here. <laughs> I hate this home. This guy left me no space for my GameCube. Move the Xbox over. I don't even remember having an experiment room. What's our room anyways? That's, you know what? The truths, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. That Those things don't concern little worker frogs. And that's how it should be, you know? What's a GameCube? A GameCube is this. Come on, I didn't wipe your memory that much. Put the controllers over here. Where did these postcards go? Where do they go? What do I do with them? Oh, can this go here? It doesn't really look like it can, but I think it can. I want the game sphere back. <laughs> Get me my game sphere. Is, is the game sphere the thing? I, I could be wrong. Is that the Drake and Josh thing? <laughs> That's immediately what I thought of. It could be. It, it's not a real thing, right? It can't be. It's no way. Damn, I can't wait for the game pyramid. <laughs> Man, one day. They're not ready for it. The Drake and Josh thing? Yeah, okay, there's a Drake and Josh episode. Hear me out. I'm not crazy. There's a Drake and Josh episode 
where they have like a competition. I don't remember what it's for, but you get a game sphere and it's an orb <laughs> that plays video games. And they have to like make their room a candy paradise or something. <laughs> I only vaguely remember this, but a game sphere was definitely involved. That was like a major part of the plot. Put these up here. Haven't left the attic for a while. No worries, man. You can stay up there. You're not bothering anyone. Plus, you can watch all of our, all of our stuff. I think the captain went mad. She's speaking nonsense. <laughs> Sounds very Drake and Josh. I swear. I swear. It's real. I'm, I'm not making this up this time. I, I know I do that from time to time, but this time it's real. This time it's 100% real. Where do I put my giant cartoon drawing pad? On the bed? Where do I put it? In the toilet? I Under the bed. Did we give up drawing? Did we put that behind us? Where does it go? If I click around long enough, I can figure it out. God, oh, wait, ukuleles. Who needs them? Cartoon drawing pad. Uh, drawing pads don't look like this. They're not bright purple and orange. This is for cartoons. This is a toy. I'm the stuff guardian, guardian of the stuff. Robert's quiver before me. Yeah, good job. Good job protecting all of our crap. All of our unneeded stuff in the attic. And to be fair, I'm not sure how exactly you put, like, an addict in a spaceship. But, man, where there's a will, there's a way. Here? Wait, it actually likes being here? Okay. It goes here, then. What's this? Is this just another one? We have two? Man, we really are rich. We don't even have a desk. Wait, what happened to our computer? It's a spaceship house. It is, but look, what what is the point of a house with if I don't have my gaming set up? I don't know, we moved in with some dude and now we can't game anymore. I'm gonna put the car with those guys. It's like the worst possible scenario. We used to be so cool. We used to be into like cosplay or something. I had to sell the old ass PC to buy that house. <laughs> yeah, we sold the whole PC and bought this apartment for uh, the $20 that we got for it. Have a gaming setup here in the attic? That's pre that's pretty pog, I'm not gonna lie. Especially when we got internet yesterday. <laughs> you guys enjoying that frog internet? Can't believe we have it now. So old it became a retro setup. <laughs> oh, that's genius. If you just keep your crap for long enough, it just becomes retro and then you resell it. And you make millions. Maybe you should keep all your crap. Where does it... Uh, does it go under the bed? Move the degree down. Mm, doesn't go under there. Frog Mario. <laughs> Where's the mini fridge at? No, no mini fridge. We got a mega fridge. 
Only the best. Only the best for my frogs. Maybe in here? God, we can't put our stuff anywhere. Put that there. Oh, uh, maybe it goes here? Man, who needs an alarm clock? Okay, it doesn't go there. I have approximately 200 Scrooge McDuck magazines. Maybe one day it'll take some value. Dude, 200 Scrooge McDuck magazines. Why would you want to get rid of them? That's priceless. You can't put a price on something like that. I'll buy them. <laughs> I'll buy them right now. Mega fridge or the mega pint. I mean, frogs are small, so everything's kind of big to them, you know? Oh, they go in the fridge! They oh my god, I'm so stupid. They go in the fridge. Put this here. This here. Perfect. So now I just need to figure out where this thing goes. I would actually never get my entire childhood. Man, please? Can I please have your Scrooge McDuck comic book collection or magazine collection? Maybe. Uh, well, if I can't, if I don't know what it is, maybe that's proof I shouldn't buy it. I take it back. You can keep it. I'm desperate. I'll put this thing anywhere. This little writing pad or whatever. This drawing pad. On the laptop. In the kitchen. On the chair. I was a drawing pad. Where would I prefer to be stored? Mm. Let me put that here. Just a lot of comics of Scrooge McDuck, Donald Duck, and others. I'm not gonna lie, that sounds... That sounds rad. <laughs> that sounds... That actually sounds super cool. We should have like a frog show and tell. Everyone bring their like cool collectibles. Whatever it is like you collect. Drink water? Good idea. It's super cool, and I will sue anyone who says it's not. <laughs> I like that attitude. Dude, don't let them get away with that. That's Scrooge McDuck slander. Scrooge McDuck is cool as fuck. That's a slogan, actually. <laughs> Disney came up with that, not me. Can I open the oven? No. Where does it go? Here. No. Hmm. Artist people, where do you keep your drawing pads? Give me some ideas. Where do I put this thing? It doesn't want to be anywhere. I don't have a desk to put it on. And I can't fit it under the bed. It doesn't want to go there. In the toilet. On the toilet. In the shower. Not in the shower. In the sink. Not in the sink. <laughs> I'm desperate. Anywhere. Glue it to your hand. <laughs> That's a good idea. I like where your head's at. Oh, it's not a drawing tablet. It's... It's a whiteboard! It's not a drawing tablet at all! How was I supposed to know that? It was with this! Ah, okay, let's go. Scrooge McDuck is so cool, for real. Don Rosa made an entire story of Scrooge's childhood and it became official. Is that real? <laughs> is that true? Drews, are you, are you for real? Like... Not a real space person, shake my head. 
Put my drawing tablet in the sink. That's a, I, I think that's a good idea to you. Did we move into a crappy house now? Oh, we're a horse girl. We have like pictures of horses and stuff. Truths never lies. I don't know about that. I don't, I wouldn't go that far. It's a real thing. I'm a huge fan of Scrooge McDuck. Truths. <laughs> Truths. I mean, I'll believe you. If you're a huge fan of Scrooge McDuck, then so am I. You're not alone in your Scrooge McDuck love. Did we go back in time? We're a child again. Wait, I have my degree. <gasps> Did we move back home? Did we? Oh, uh oh. <laughs> uh oh. Did we move back home? We have all of our toys. The frog is back. Yay. Are we have our bug still? Oh, we have a frog! Yo-yo, let's go! Dude, play with this now! What are we doing? Where's that game? The lack of yo-yo simulators is disturbing. Capitalism at its finest. <laughs> oh, at least we have our chickens back. We got that in the divorce. Man, I knew I wasn't gonna work out. You saw the way that guy lived with us? No way. He didn't even- he didn't give us space for our laptop. He didn't have a gaming setup. He wasn't even a gamer. Wait, are we playing? Is the same person in, uh, the whole time? Is this iron environmental storytelling? I actually think it is. Is that not what's going on? And I think that's why the music kind of got sad. Because it's like the same- we carried over all of our stuff. From like- this is like our pig, and the pig is like slightly older. We sports all about the yo-yo. Man, where are my yo-yo games? Yeah, no, we moved- Because I think like, when we had- Yeah, here's our cup, it's still broken. We have the same toothpaste we did when we were six. That's gross. Can't wait to see all the theory vids on that game. <laughs> we were in a coma the whole time. I thought we were chilling, but now it's real, yeah. Dude, that's life. What can I say? That's life. We're back- we're back at the old parents' house. We still have our file folder. We have all of our toys. Yo, look at the secret frog. That's a cool guy. That's one of you. I'm like pretty sure of it actually. We're gonna hide him. He wants to be secret. He can't the world can't know. They can't know of him. Yeah, here's all of our soccer stuff. Man, so we were like a soccer player and we're really into cosplay. And, uh, we moved in with some dude who, like, didn't give us space for all of our t-shirts and stuff. So we got a divorce. <laughs> Valid, honestly. Kind of a girl boss move, if you ask me. Oh, I left a box here? Please tell me we brought our, like, Plibit, our little Plibit doll. If he got that in the divorce, I'm gonna be really upset. I don't see it. I don't see it! No! <laughs> no! He can't take that from us. He already took everything else. I hate him. I hate that guy. Put this up here. And that up there. Man, don't stack your books like that. That's... <laughs> the, f the moment you need one, it's, oh, it's all over. You may as well give up. 
put these up here. Man, our postcards are looking a little grody. We gotta fix those. Oh, <gasps> she put a she put a pen through his face. You see that? This is environmental storytelling. Dude, you go, girl. Don't worry. You'll be back on top soon. I believe it. Got all my video games. My Nintendo DS. Let's go. Ooh, what is this? I thought it was a sweater. Why is it making a noise? Why is there water in my sweater? <laughs> my, my sweater's broken. We'll figure that out later, I guess. Let's put this poster back on the wall, though. Oh, can I not? Man. Gotta put the chickens up. I don't even want to look at them. It's the thing you fill with water and heat up and put under the pillow. Oh! It's one of those things. And it's just got like a... It's wearing a sweater. Okay, that makes sense. That makes sense. It's not a... It's not a sweater with like a water balloon inside of it. Got it. Noted. I gotta put all my stuffed animals back on the bed. I can't sleep. I, I can't sleep any, any other way. They go there. A <laughs> wet sweater. <laughs> yeah, don't uh, don't keep your sweater wet. Don't don't do that. I don't know what'll happen, but I don't think it's good. I don't think you should do that. <laughs> so wet, or. <laughs> Oh, that shouldn't have got me, but it did. You just can't argue with, like, comedic genius, you know? God, I hate this workout stuff. And I hate it because it's true. If you, like, move, you have to bring all your dumb workout stuff with you. Like, just a box full of weights. Okay, the chickens need to be in front of the radio. Because everyone knows that chickens love music. And this one's the leader. Oh, wait. This one doesn't go here. The one of her boyfriend doesn't go here. Where does it go? Oh! It goes down here! She doesn't want to look at it, so she wants it in the cat. Oh god, guys, it's getting spicy. I didn't know that I can. I didn't. I didn't know we signed up for drama. This is like a whole saga. I like this little window here. That's cool. We have like back pain stuff. Because we're older now. And after you turn like, I don't know, 25, like, I guess your just body hurts constantly all the time. Put that there. Can I put that on top of that? Wait, where did it go? It disappeared. Oh, <laughs> I guess that wasn't that important. Who needs it? Put our cup in here. Has this been downgraded to like the toothpaste cup? I think so. Oh, Joker girl, thank you for the raid. Welcome, welcome everyone. Hi, hi, hi. There are many cute froggy Pokemon, but you are the only frog in our hearts. Oh, you guys are so sweet. Thank you, welcome everyone. Welcome, welcome, that's a huge raid, thank you. Best snail was overdressed. Wow, that's a pretty cool, wow, that's a pretty cool frog. Thank you for the follow, Kuma Kichi. Welcome, welcome. 
Hi everybody, how's it going? How was your stream? Were you guys playing Pokemon? Did you catch any shinies? I bet you did. I caught you I bet you caught like all the shinies. Every single one. We caught so many Pokemon, no Rose, shinies, no. You, but also oh, thanks for the, thanks for the sub. Thank you, thank you. No, you caught so many shinies. I bet. <laughs> but like four legendaries? Oh, that's awesome! No, I hope you guys had fun. No, welcome, welcome. I'm Plibbit. We caught a Piplo. That's kind of like a Plibbit. <laughs> Piplo's super cute. But yeah, I'm Plibbit. Uh, I'm a frog from space and you're all on my ship. Welcome. You can't leave. You're stuck here now. Congratulations. <laughs> at least five shinies, I bet. Dude, no way. I say like 10. 10 at least. <laughs> but yeah, we're just playing a little unpacking. We gotta get this place like nice and tidy. There's so many new frogs we can experiment on. Dude, don't talk about the experiments just yet, okay? Keep that on the down low. We can't tell them. I mean, nothing, nothing. You guys didn't hear anything. You guys didn't hear that. <laughs> you guys didn't hear that either. <laughs> Close your ears and your eyes. We're just a big happy frog family in space. No, no experiments, nothing crazy going on. I'm a fantastic boss. Don't let them tell you otherwise. Wait, what? Don't worry about it. <laughs> experiment gone wrong. <laughs> no, no experiments. No way. <laughs> so many new frogs we won't experiment on. Yeah. No experiments. None. Nothing of the sort. I would never. I'm a fantastic frog boss. <laughs> We have a water park in the spaceship. We do. Please enjoy the, spa the spaceship water park. Please. Our tree. It's just a room filled with water, but we're working on it. Have you been enjoying unpacking so far? Yeah, it's pretty fun. Man, it's got way more story than I expected it to for a game where we unpack boxes. This girl's gone through it. We've gone through a breakup. We're moving into a new house. We're on the up and up now. I'm like, I'm invested. I love her. We have to protect her. Oh, we have our frog back. Look at this little guy. Our frog, Spyro. Welcome on the ship. We have a fake theater, lethal laser tag, water park, and microwaves. Yeah, we have... Oh, look, anything you want, you'll find it on the ship. I can't say that it works and, like, is healthy for you, but we definitely have it. And we don't have microwaves. We're getting rid of all the microwaves. That was a lie. They're too confusing, and they're not good for you. No more microwaves. The story is super cute. It is! What about the RVG rubber duckies? Is that a thing? Are there RVG rubber duckies? That sounds amazing. I want one. We have a windmill! Weren't we using the microwaves as weapons? Yeah, we're not- we're using them purely as weapons. You don't make food with them. They're too dangerous. Make all your food with lasers. That's not that dangerous. Wait, you're getting rid of the microwaves. Are we back to lasering the popcorn? Yeah. No, for anyone, like, not in the know, uh, everyone was making popcorn with lasers on the ship, and it just smelled really bad, so we had to take care of it, and I got rid of all the lasers and replaced them with microwaves, but I don't know how to use a microwave, so... So we're back to lasers, and now we're using the microwaves as weapons. That are using the reactors. Yeah, or the reactors. Either works. 
Did a snail send me here? Dude, the coolest snail sent you here. <laughs> Oh, we have bean bags now. Guys, come sit on the bean bags with me. Come sit on the bean bags and like question whether you're ever gonna get up again. <laughs> oh, also, am I cool? You're the coolest. Oh, thank you. Thank you for the sub uh, gifted to Joker Girl. Thank you, thank you. I can't open this. Okay, we put this here. We put this here. <laughs> You're so goddamn cool. <laughs> yeah, and Truves, uh, uh, he knows what it is. He's like an expert. I'd trust him. <laughs> Drink water, Froggy? Yes, yes, Shy Pig. Yes, I will. <laughs> Absolutely. I would never disobey my pig. Ever, ever. <laughs> Welcome, Shy Pig. How's it going? What is this? Is this like a speaker? <laughs> you know what's cool? Scrooge McDuck is cool. <laughs> I don't know. I, I'm starting to think... I'm starting to think Scrooge McDuck might be pretty cool. <laughs> I mean, Scrooge McDuck, the duck, that is cool. That's what I was going to say. I wasn't going to say anything else. Nothing crazy, you know. What is this? Is it a speaker? It looks like a little wheel. Like if you're really into racing games. Scrooge McCool. <laughs> yeah, that's what they call him. Scrooge McCool. 100%. Put my ukulele up here. Man, we moved into like a nice house. Look at us. We're just, we're on the up and up. We got out of that crappy apartment. We still have our med kit. I think having an umbrella stand is a pure symbol of having a made it life. <laughs> I think you're right. And I think, uh, I mean, perhaps it's a sign that I don't have a made it life. I don't even think I, I don't even own an umbrella. <laughs> <laughs> if it's raining, it's just like, oh, that sucks for me. Let's go. <laughs> Man, that's like a sign you're like an actual adult. She also has a walking stick, so I hope she's okay. Oh, good point. I didn't even notice that. I guess she does. Man, she's just, she's a little bit older now, you know? Or maybe she goes hiking. The richest duck on all the world, all the ducks are cool, and not all the riches are cool. <laughs> I love- I love the Scrooge McDuck love. You know what, that's what I don't see enough in Twitch chats. People like fawning over Scrooge McDuck. I, and it's honestly kind of a shame. He's so cool. Put everything on the bed. Every single thing. Oh, what is this? Is that a candle? Oh, it goes in here. Like a little aromatherapy. I admit the Scrooge McDuck love is so fucking random. <laughs> No, I love it. The love for Scrooge McDuck stays. It's official. Some characters, they just... They don't get enough love. 
I think Scrooge McDuck is one of them. I don't know, who's your unfavorite, like... <laughs> your unpopular favorite? A character that gets zero love from anyone anymore. I think mine is like... Hmm... I think my unpopular favorite might be someone like... I don't know, like Casper the Ghost. No one cares about Casper the Ghost anymore. Or even, I'll give you an even better one. Any of the Muppets that aren't Kermit. <laughs> no one cares about them. Like, no one's like simping over Fozzie Bear. That's not happening. I shouldn't say that. Sorry to all my Fozzie Bear simps in the chat. I'm so sorry. I <laughs> can't believe I would have disrespected you like that. Scrooge McDuck burned down an entire village in order to make the money and then he gets hated by his entire family the second he became the richest in the world. <laughs> I don't know. Scrooge sounds pretty- he sounds pretty based to me. Imagine not liking Fozzie Bear? That's what I'm saying. Waka waka, am I right? <laughs> My Fozzie Bear head? My Fozzie Bear fans? And Standler and Waldorf. Is that the old guys? Look, I love the Muppets, don't get me wrong. But those might be some unpopular faves. I, I say no one's standing Fozzie Bear. Dev no one is standing Waldorf the Muppet. <laughs> that's, uh, that's not happening either. Dude, I can hang all my pants up. We put our shirts in here. Man, our life is made, but we have this like plastic bin to put our clothes in. Get a cabinet. Not even saying Gonzo or Miss Piggy, by the way. You're all face here, Flip. Got okay, Miss Piggy is way... Uh, people love Miss Piggy. Miss Piggy is an icon. Everyone knows Miss Piggy. Gonzo... Eh? I, I think people like... I think older people like Gonzo. I don't think there's any Gonzo simps out there. Are there any like Gonzo stan Twitter accounts currently running? <laughs> and uh, second question, do they want to be my friend? Uh, the offer is open. I will be their friend. I too love Gonzo. Everyone knows the great Gonzo. <laughs> I mean, everyone knows them, but do they love him? Is he their favorite character? Is he though? The jury's still out, I think. What's the deal with Gonzo's nose? Dude, you can't just ask a question like that. What the fuck? Oh my god. I can't believe you just asked that. <laughs> he was born like that. You guys talking about the Muppets? This show isn't popular at all in France. <laughs> yes, the Muppets. You know, Kermit the Frog, Miss Piggy, uh, the other ones. Fozzie Bear. Sorry. <laughs> it's fine, Laggy. It's fine. I'll let it slide this time, but... Man. Wa wa watch what you're saying about Gonzo. You don't want those Gonzo Twitter accounts coming after you. <laughs> the Gonzo stands. I heard they're vicious. Yeah, like, I know Kermit because of the memes and all that, but I've never seen any episode. Yeah, I've only ever seen, like, the movies. I've never watched, like, the Muppet show. Did any of you watch Matt and Pat? No. Like, Matt, Pat? 
Is that the guy that collects plushies? Like, he does YouTube videos on plushies? <laughs> I, may be, I may be way off base here. But I think that really shows what kind of content I consume in my, uh, in my personal time. <laughs> it's a stop motion thing? Yeah, I have no idea what that is. Yeah, I've never heard of Matt and Pat. Is it, is it like Gumby? I know of Gumby. Kind of like Wallace and Gromit, but they don't talk. Okay. Interesting. Is that your unpopular fave? <laughs> I mean, look, I'm not going to talk shit on, on Matt and Pat. Or Pat and Matt. You mean Matt by game theory? Just a theory, a game theory. Thanks for watching. <laughs> Yeah, that's exactly what we were talking about. <laughs> Muppets movie from 2011 with Jason Nicole at Amy Adams is legit one of the best movies. I'm not even biggest Muppet fan. It is pretty good. I remember it being pretty good. I've seen all the Muppets movies, old and uh, 2022. I can't, I I've seen a lot of them. I'm trying to remember, what's the one where, what, is it Muppets Take Manhattan where it's like, all I remember is there's a scene where Miss Piggy has to be like on roller skates uh, because she's like running and chasing someone and instead of putting the puppet in roller skates, they got a real, like, <laughs> it looks like a linebacker dressed like Miss Piggy <laughs> and they're roller skating uh, through like Central Park. <laughs> I didn't make that up, right? I didn't dream that. That's real. That's, I'm almost certain that's a real thing. Look it up if you must, but... Put this here. Put our alarm clock here. Put that there. We have an office? When did this happen? <sighs> Hopefully we at least have like a real gamer set up now. Man, we have like a thousand Copip markers. We're, we're like big time money now. I saw this one Muppet movie where Miss Piggy was a thief. Dude, Miss Piggy, I mean... Uh, ex uh, pardon me, but Miss Piggy, kind of a bad bitch. I won't lie. <laughs> Are you rich, rich? I am. Dude, I'm rolling in it. If you can afford a singular Copic marker, you are now rich. Congratulations. You are as rich as rich can be. I think one Copic marker is like $100. I'm pretty sure that's right. 100 froggy dollars. Whoa, we have a whale. What is this? We have two whales. What are they? They're like glass. And we have a cabinet to put all of our art stuff. <gasps> we have little, oh my God. It's shy big. Look at that guy. We have a duck. Are they a book holder? They might be. Like a bookend thing. You could be right. Let's see. Nah, I can't seem to put anything on it. We have a lava lamp. <laughs> and a basket of wires. You know, the basket of wires you keep in every home and you have no idea what they all do. A duck, two whales? You're rich. I am. 
Dude, don't be too jealous. Oh, where am I gonna put this? Put it here. Dude, we have our picture of laggy. Laggy and smaller laggy. I'll put these up here. Oh, that's a cute one. That's our bug. That's our bug boy. Black cat, bad luck? No way. No way. Black cats mean good luck. Do we have another little one? <laughs> Buggy the black cat or Buggy the clown? It's our bug! It's our bug buddy! Hey, where is he? Where's our bug? Where's our bug boy? He's in here somewhere, right? <gasps> Wait, no, he went to heaven! Wait, that's a picture of him in heaven, isn't it? Oh my god, our beetle died! Oh, <laughs> God, this sucks. This sucks. Oh shit, a frog? Yeah, dude. Check out our frog. Look at that guy. Look at him. He's just chilling with his main man, Spyro. That's me. That's me right there. Not the beetle. Yeah, rest in peace, my beetle. My man. My little dude. My precious little boy. My beetle boy. <laughs> my beetle son. <laughs> Damn, his own boy. Dude, that, that's, that's my little bro. My little guy. What am I gonna do without him? He was with me when I was poor. We were we were besties the whole way. He was my world. Well, let's stack these. Man, I got to invest in lava lamps. I'm sorry to hear no, it's fine. Oh, thank you for the uh, follow, Kuma Cap. Thank you, thank you. Guys, we gotta get some more lava lamps in this ship. I think our spaceship would be better with some more lava lamps. Might have to make them ourselves, though. Anyone know, like, a good DIY lava lamp recipe? That won't catch on fire? Let me put this one here. I think the ship would be better with more lava. <laughs> no, only the lamp kind. No, no real lava. Only lava lamp. <laughs> Say that to yourselves a few more times, just in case. Watch the DIY on TikTok. Dude, I don't get I don't get TikTok way out here in space. We're still working on it. I have my business cards. Okay, put this up here. You in space? Yeah, man. We're way out here in space. We're just a bunch of frogs floating around in space. You get used to it. At least NASA has found a way to give you pizza. Oh my god, thank god. I've been living off frozen pizza. We went over that earlier, but... I'm telling you, getting some mozzarella cheese, it does wonders. I don't like a bunch of crap on my desk. That doesn't mean I don't have a lot of crap on my desk, it just means I don't, like, want to. <laughs> I definitely do. I definitely do have, like, a lot of crap on my desk, but... Let me... Can I put this... Oh yeah, put it there. Put this here. We have our little stress ball. We have our Newton's cradle, which means we're wealthy. And our little lamp. 
Oh, kitchen? Kitchen? Fine, kitchen. I thought we were done. Are you telling me you're developing frog talk? Yeah, we're getting on it. Look, I'm doing my best, you know, but we just discovered the internet and uh, it's taken us some time, but I believe in us. We can do it, you know? A lot of crap, but no second monitor. <laughs> Look, I'm working on a second monitor. I... <laughs> but if I get a second monitor, where am I going to put all my crap? <laughs> what, what am I going to do? Just put it on the floor? PS Frog, Frog 64, DS Frog. Yeah, keep those ideas coming. We'll develop them all. We can do it, I swear. <laughs> the Frog Boy. <laughs> Dude, now, I'm telling you, now that we have, like, discovered the internet, they can't stop us. We used to have to rely on like pieces of paper and I'd draw like what looks like a computer, like it looked like a Google Chrome window, like on a piece of paper. And whoa, cookie, what? We got a cookie? Okay, we got a cookie. But yeah, I'd have to draw like what looked like Google Chrome on a piece of paper. And you guys would just look at it. Oh my god, you guys are still going. <laughs> okay, okay, enough ideas, enough ideas. <laughs> We're writing this down. Someone write that down. Write that down. Is that the letter three? Why is there magic cookies in the kitchen? I have no idea. Whoa. God, so much crap. <laughs> Frog.tv. Yeah, I mean, I can't wait till we develop streaming. That's gonna be crazy. Can you imagine if we, like, streamed on the internet? I'm just gonna... I'm... I don't know. I, I've just been... I, I've just been streaming to you guys aboard the ship, but... That'd be crazy. I don't know if I could do it. Wow, that's a pretty cool frog. Wow, a pretty cool frog. Thank you, Donkey Konga. Welcome, welcome. Does this mean 1 plus 2 equals 3? Do we have like a kid now? Or is that just math? <laughs> I think that's just math. Can't put dots. Yeah, it. Uh, you gotta be careful with that sometimes. If you like, put the dot weird. <laughs> Ideas are deleted. Look, I'm not censoring you. I swear. But just take it easy. Take a deep breath. You got this. I believe in you. God, where's all this gonna go? Let's put this up here. I'll write it down. We have a kid. Why did you put the plushies next to the electric thing in the other room? Um. I mean, look. They're my plushies. They're not the kids' plushies. The kids are not, they're not allowed to play with them. There's a difference, you know? Those are collector's items. 
<laughs> I'm gonna put the microwave down here. That doesn't need to go down there. That kid is gonna learn the hard way. Dude, they won't. It's fine. It's fine. What's a little electric shock? It's never hurt anybody, I don't think. I mean, I've never asked, but I'm sure it hasn't. What could happen? My god, we have a proper- This is how plates should go. This- This is how plates should go. Not- Put up in a cabinet 20 feet above your head. This is correct. This is right. Put this here. down here. Where did my fun music go? The music for the section's been so fun. Would you say that when the shark toys your space self had as a kid? What? Those were fun. The, the, the shock, the shocky toys are fun. Uh, someone's like, hey, Plibbit, uh, did you uh, steal cookies from the cookie jar? No, I didn't. And then it shocks you because you lied. That's fun. That's just that's just having fun. You guys don't have fun like that. People don't die from electric shocks nowadays. Not since at least the Middle Ages, or the Medieval Ages. How did they die in the Middle Ages? How did they die back then? Like struck by lightning? I'd imagine it happens way more now. Can I put these in there? Use my parsley, my onions, my garlic, my black shit, shit. I don't know what that is. My honey. Where do cups go? Cups. Cups. Cups don't go under sink. Hmm. Maybe cups go up here. My egg timer. Hey, I had taser chewing gum when I was a kid. It's just a little shock, okay? What is taser chewing gum? Does it shock you? A second question, can I buy it still? For science purposes? Taser chewing gum. Yes and yes, okay. <laughs> That's very good to know. I like to hear that. How does it shock you? Is it like a pop rock? Or like, it's like popping candy? Or is it like a real like shock? How hard does it hurt? <laughs> Will I feel pain? Oh, you, all oh, those things. Those things, it's like a little packet of gum and you, when you pull it out, it shocks you. Oh my God, those were terrifying. Those, I, I haven't thought about those in forever. I thought you meant it like it's gum you eat and it like, and it shocks the inside of your mouth. But no, the shocking chewing, the, the little toy thing is way worse. <laughs> That's just mean, it's, it's just, it's mean-spirited. Magic gum. There's nothing magical about it. Dude, that's like how to not make friends. Carrie has gun to kill Exactly, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> Dang, we got Fat Jesus in chat. Yeah, Fat Jesus watches over our stream. Uh, every day, God bless. He is a Pokemon. God is a Pokemon. <laughs> a very long-legged Pokemon. Those toys traumatize me? Yeah, they're scary. I, that really makes you, like, lose trust in people, right? Like, you're never gonna- For the next five years, you're never getting gum from anyone again. It's over.
What's my pot up here? My coasters. Why would you have a table here? It doesn't seem like a good place to have a table. I only watch over some of you. My legs are long and I don't want to bend over. Of course, of course. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Man. Not many people can say Jesus is in their chat, but I guess I'm not many people. Wow, that's a pretty cool frog. Thank you uh, for the follow, Kiwiki. Kiwiki? I think that's right. Thank you, thank you. This goes here. I'm pretty sure. Like, 99% sure. Those toys should be illegal. One shock and my arm felt like dying. Man, shock toys are no joke. It makes me really nervous when I see, like, some Twitch streamers will have a thing where it's, like, like, you can shock them. Like, they have a shock collar on. <laughs> I I don't like that. That's evil. That's demented. I hate it. <laughs> Put this here. Oh, where's my, where's my Kiko man gonna go? My Kiko man soy sauce. This can go here. Can you stream that? Isn't it considered self-harm? I don't know. I don't know the stipulations on it, honestly. Like... I mean, people definitely do. In Puerto Rico, there was a gun toy that would shock you really hard. But like, so many watts. Oh, that's terrifying. <laughs> That's so scary. Dude, we don't have room for our toaster. What am I gonna do? People can stream League of, League of, League of Legends, so I guess it's okay. I mean, that's, it's on, that's a very different level of self-harm. <laughs> I will say, the few times I have played League of Legends, it was pretty fun. I won't lie, I only play with bots because I'm scared of people, but I thought it was fun. But I also used to play Smite a lot, so maybe that's why. You can put the toaster inside the oven, double toast. That's a fantastic idea. You're a genius. What is this? Oh, it's for my menorah. I'll put them up here. Where do my cups go? Up here? Oh yeah, they kind of go up here. As a lead play player, I can just say, Jesus fucking Christ. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's... <laughs> I'm, I'm scared of League people. <laughs> they scare me lots. I love, I love playing by myself though. That's great. That's a fun time. League of Legends easy with bots. That's why I like it. It's easy. I can pretend like I'm really good. I mean, I am really good, obviously. I'm good at everything, but... But then I can pretend like I'm really good, you know? I think I'll put this over here, like, in front of the microwave. That doesn't feel like a good idea, though. The game can be fun, but you need the right people for sure. Yeah, I, I think you're right. I, I don't know, I've... <laughs> I've only played like a real game maybe once and it was very like uh I don't know <laughs> I we did really bad and I felt like I was the reason we were doing so bad because everyone I was playing with was like uh, they were like really really good at the game allegedly <laughs> so I just felt like I was holding them back you know You're a good amphibian. Thank you. I try my best. What's wrong? What? 
What? Why is this bad? My frog can't go on the floor? And my books have to come out? Does my frog go in here? Where does my frog go? Okay, put this crap back here. Frog on shelf. Where, then where am I gonna put all my chickens? I introduced one of my friends to League and now he reminds me of that and I'm really sorry. <laughs> Aww. It's probably better if you have like a pretty good like core group to uh... to uh... do stuff with. <laughs> Poor frog, no friends. Dude, I don't have friends. I have employees and that's you guys. <laughs> But look, we're friends on the download. Just like, don't tell management, okay? I'm also management. Toilet paper back here. There we go. She has friends thousands of time poles. No, those are future employees, actually. Don't get it twisted. <laughs> How much do we get paid? You get paid in candy. And uh, sometimes I tell you that you're doing a really good job. Good job, good frog, you're doing great. And uh, that's what you get paid in. <laughs> I think the league is so cool for everything but the game. Yeah, I don't know. I love the character designs and stuff. I think that rules. Put these down here. We want to thank you for all your hard work. <laughs> oh my god, not this today. <laughs> I can't You're wait till you guys forget the sound alert exists. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. you keep your word. I keep my word. You deliver what you promise. I deliver what I promise. You go the extra mile. I do. I do. That's me. I do, I do that. You're doing a great job. I'm doing a great job. A great job. Thank you so much. Thank you. Captain Plymouth's orders. Don't get your orders. In. We'll I'm getting my speech. A great job. Thank you. Thank you so much. Oh my god. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> What I love about this speech is anyone that was lurking with this in the background, I immediately see them leave because it gets way too loud for them. <laughs> it's so funny to me every single time. <laughs> Captain Plymouth's orders. Hmm. Well, the orders for earlier was we need the uh, we need the 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 disco the disco roller rink. That was important. Snakes. 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 Thanks. <laughs> uh, we need the disco roller rink. That's really important. And Vigil's working on it. The water park's coming along at like a pretty good, a, a pretty, a, a pretty good, uh, you know, it's gonna happen eventually. We gotta wait for the place to refill with water, I think. What's a good idea? What's, what's something you could do, troops? Hmm. Ooh, Truves, I have a good idea. A Truves. <laughs> Is that Frog's Jazz? Thanks. Yes. Thanks. <laughs> Truves, I need you to make a. Uh, I need you to make a store for the frogs. I need you to make um. I need you to make a clothing store, like a little boutique. Uh, and I needed to also like sell little wigs and stuff uh, So the frogs can like dress up really nicely I think you guys like don't get enough opportunity to like feel good and like spruce yourselves up So I think that's a good idea Thoughts on that? <laughs> Gucci the frog <laughs> Yeah, we need we need some like high fashion frogs I want to see you guys dressed to the nines. I want to see you in little, like, 
powdered wigs and stuff. I think that would rule. And it would really go with the disco vibe as well. Because, like, you guys can't be arriving to the disco looking like, you know, that. I need help, guys. I know the drip from like, flamingos and lobsters, but not for frogs. <laughs> Look, it's not hard. I mean, they're just round, so I would go with, like, maybe some nice, like, patterns and stuff. Maybe, like, I don't know, some kind of nice, uh... Maybe, I don't know, maybe... Maybe, like, a floral print? I would never, I've got my own wig. I mean, if you're a frog with your own wig, you're allowed to wear your own wig. Uh, but it has to be checked by me first. That's important. Where does this stuff go? What is, oh, is this a blankie? Where does it go? What about frogs costumes for frogs? <laughs> yeah, okay. It's, it's a frog wearing a frog. I kind of like that. It's very meta. You know what? I think that might just work. Where does this go? What is it? I know it's like a blankie, but... There? No, not there. Under there? No. I mean, I get wanting like a blankie in your office. And I'm in full of support of it, but I don't know where it goes. I think it's a ta- Is it a ta- Is it a towel? <laughs> is it really? It is. <laughs> it is a towel. It is in fact a towel. Dude, Vigil, you're like a genius. I don't know what the ship would do without you. <laughs> Cover yourself in a towel. I'll put it on my head, don't worry. Dude, 2015. Wait, we're still here. We're in the same house. Anything in here? Nothing changes She's an in icon. here. I'm an icon. She's a legend. I'm a legend. And she is the moment. I am the moment. Now come on now. Come on now. Dude, when no one's got me, Wendy Williams has got me, you know? Dude, we got a rice cooker? Let's go. Have we lasted this long without a rice cooker? Who says boutique also says economy? <laughs> I mean, I just want my frogs looking nice. Hey, you. Hey, you. Hey, you. Okay, we're done. How much stuff does this person need? They've got a major hoarding problem. I know, it's kind of making me a little nervous. It's like, I, I don't think they need all of this. Like I said, it, it makes me want to get rid of stuff. Like, where am I gonna put this rice cooker? Over here? There's no plug. There's no plug over here. Uh, up here, maybe? I don't know. Scrooge McDuck, average enjoyer. I can say it. I will become the richest flamingo in the ship. <laughs> I believe it. <laughs> Truths, we will get you like, will uh, your little room can be filled with money. <laughs> we will fill your room with like gold coins, and you can dive in it whenever you want. That's all yours, buddy. Just don't go too crazy with it. Oh, we have a dish rack now. That goes here, right? Yeah. But where does everything else go? Okay, sponge goes in there. Oh god, this is making me so anxious. God, yeah, yeah. No, we'll definitely get that for you. And you can just jump in whenever you like. Put that back there. 
About to mean capitalism on a peaceful ship. I mean, that's, that's the foundation on which we were built, you know? We were built for that grind. And what's a frog if unable to grind, you know? It's our nature. I can put it here. That, I hate this. I hate that. How, you can't make toast. And your rice cooker is gonna be hitting this thing, like, every time it opens. You're gonna get steam everywhere. You can't tell them. I try. You can't. Ooh, put these over here. We're becoming a potted plant person. Ooh, what are these? Is that a, a ticket? More of these. What are those? Whoa. What? I don't know what- I don't know what these are. Great, more books. That's what we needed. <laughs> more books. During my childhood, I learned two things. How to manage capitalism and how to manage colonialism. These frogs will have to pay. <laughs> you know what? I like that attitude. More of that, please. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> the tail's honk gets me every time. I'm ne I'll never learn. Dude, matching pillows and blankets? Who are we? I've got my Blu-rays! Do I have jaws and whatever that is? Let's go. That one went great. Man. I, there's never a wrong time for a tail's honk, I think. That's the sound alerts I love most are the ones that are just like... They're just appropriate for all times. There's never a bad time for it. Oh, we have our little... Our little... A uh, thing. This thing. For plants. <laughs> God, I'm gonna drink. That made me thirsty. A puffer fish, it, it, I'm telling you, I'm, I'm Pavlov dogged. I can't, I can't get over it. What's, uh, that sound alert from? I have no idea. I just looked up Tales from Sonic. And that just came up. <laughs> Drink water. Okay, okay, okay. Well, we're drinking water. Suspiciously. Thank you. Thank you for not puffer fishing me. I, I appreciate it so much. What is this? These look like real movies. Tails having such a bad trip. Yeah, I have no idea what it's from. But man, it's so good. <laughs> Whoa. Okay, put this... <laughs> put this under here. That's not scary at all. Wait, did we get more chickens in our chicken collection? Man. God, how many Blu-rays do we need? No one needs this many Blu-rays. Can I stack? I can stack. Stack. You haven't puffer fished. I haven't puffer fished you, so please don't atomize me. I'm- I'm thinking about it, you know? I'm having deep consideration about not atomizing you. Um... And look, I don't want to atomize you. I don't want to atomize anyone. But- but if you do get atomized, uh, uh... It's- it is what it is, you know? Stuff happens! How else are we supposed to move? Spyro the dragon. Yeah, we have a little Spyro. He's hanging out. Dude, he's spinning around. He's having fun. Wait, put our umbrella in here. How would you- how will you manage your economy without your rich flamingo? That's true. I will have to think about that. 
And like, how will I manage like emotionally without my wealthy flamingo? I can't admire his drip on the daily. I don't know how I'll do it. Nice bathtub. Look, I'm telling you. We got we're we're rolling in cash. We can afford a bathtub. A clawfoot bathtub, no less. If you atomize me, I will not tell you where I keep my closet goblin. <laughs> I mean, we'll just atomize the closet goblin. Problem solved. Be gone with the closet goblin. No more. Oh, and we have... Oh, that's a rug. Don't put that over there. That goes there. Have a nice little tissue thing. Maybe that can go there. I don't know. I don't know why you'd need it there, but I'm sure it's important. Um, this goes here. Where does this go? This one? It has to kind of be standing up. God, we own too much. We have to downsize. Have a garage sale or something. Get rid of this crap. I don't want it anymore. I mean, I should say, like, don't sell any of this kind of stuff in a garage sale. Don't do that, but... Please don't sell your shampoo in a garage sale. I'm begging you. Please don't. Atomizing the problem to the root. Such an American way of solving problem. <laughs> Dude. I'm from space, that's the space way. If you don't like something, shoot it with a laser. Done, then and there. Your problem solved. Frog coin, yeah, we have our own, we have our own currency, our own type of like, Cryptocurrency. It's called Plibby Points. It, you can't buy anything with it. It's basically useless, but... Uh, it's If you have some, it's like Big Cloud, I think. Like, you're pretty cool. I'll say that. I don't like popcorn. I will shoot it with a laser. See, now you're getting it. You're understanding now. Whoa. Dude. <laughs> Tigers and pigs, apparently. Get into it. So I take it we're, like, moving in with someone? Did we find love? Did we finally do it? I think we did, you guys. God, close. Close all these. Uh, no more. <gasps> oh my god, a little sausage. It's a little sausage bear. Look at him. Dang, it's me. This you? Hey, this you? He's a cute guy. A little sausage bear. He's got little eyebrows. His eyebrows look like mine. Is that a walkie-talkie? <laughs> why do we... Wait, why do we have walkie-talkies? That bear plushie is so good. I have the same thing, uh... But with a frog instead? Oh! I'm jealous! Kuma means bear in Japanese? Oh, I guess it does! Dude, that's you! Dude, t so many clothes! Where are we gonna put all this? 
put it here and here and maybe if we put something up here pink and green frog i don't remember the website but i'll search it up if you want dude that's so that i'm so jealous you better get me one i swear <laughs> get every frog one for every single frog on the ship Whoa. I'm getting stickers or something. Okay, that's all the boxes in here undone. What's wrong with the computer? Where is it? What? Where does it go? Where does it want me to put it? Back over here? On the desk? Wait, really? <laughs> I guess we're putting it on the desk. Snakes. Snakes. <laughs> Plushy for every frog? That's not the way to stay wealthy. <laughs> That's what Scrooge told me. Well, <laughs> Man, I love this version of snakes. It's so good. Scrooge McDuck didn't want you to have fun. And he didn't want us to have fun either. So get those frogs coming. Wait, we have so many cute clothes now. I mean, I guess those are girlfriend's clothes, right? Wait, get those out of there. One of these. It's cute. We got her like the same one that we got. Put those in there. He was having fun by hunting ghosts and killing a fucking kraken. <laughs> Wait, my crocs are in the way. Hold on. these there and put these here oh no not our water thing we need that that's really important i can't live without it and our hero hat that goes down there God, there's just shoes and crap everywhere. And like, it's only gonna get worse. Okay, <laughs> here's this. There's that, that's cute. Put this over here. No? There. No. <laughs> Under the bed. In here. Where? How do I have to move all of this? I spent so much time. Not the shoes. There we go. There's no way we're fitting all of these shoes in here. <laughs> There's so much shit, it makes me anxious. That's what I'm saying. This is like, it's supposed to be relaxing. There's no way we're fitting all of this crap in here. Like, I hate to say it. Uh, she's gonna move out. I think the marriage is over. She, where her stuff can't fit in our house. She's messing up our perfectly clean house. Can I put it? I can put all the shoes under the bed? 
That's not good. I don't think you should do that, but... Hey, it's not my house. Do what you want. Speed run time, baby. <laughs> Look. I think the first few houses we did... They were beautiful. I, I did fantastic on them. I mean, you guys expected no less, but... But... This... This is too much. Okay. Shoe under bed. Shoe under bed. But the problem with this is every time you get in your bed, you're scooting them like a little bit farther in the bed. Until you just forget they exist. Maybe at this. Okay, pants go there. Wait, are these like the same foot? How does this go? Go, <laughs> go correctly. They both look like right shoes. <laughs> I'm making it worse. Okay, that that's it, that's it. That goes there, that goes there. What the walkie talkie back here, I guess. I'm still not entirely sure why we have a walkie talkie. Hat goes uh, there, I can go there. Journal. Wait, did I put the walkie-talkie down there? No way. Okay, hers goes in there too then. Can't wait to see the last level where you have to fit the equivalent of every single room <laughs> in an apartment in Paris. <laughs> it becomes like immediately like an insane challenge game. <laughs> No more fun, cute story. I get to work. Okay, this pen can go in there. Yeah, that's right. This room's good. Kitchen. God, where am I gonna put my rice cooker? It's causing me distress. I don't like it. Put those there. Yeah, you can't put the rice cooker on the stove. You're gonna burn your house down. Over here, maybe? Yeah, okay, they want it up there. But then where do I put this? I don't know if you're aware of how an apartment in Paris is, but it's basically the size of a bathroom in your game. <laughs> that's all. That's so rough. That's intense. I mean, it does sound like a little cozy. At least you know where everything's at, you know? Wait, I put that there. That there. God, we're gonna have to scoot everything. The Kiko man has to go. We can't have it anymore. Wow, we finished! Nice! <laughs> Citywide museum, they said. All the place for the museum, but not for the people. <laughs> I mean, what's more important? Let's be honest. I mean, a cool museum? That kind of rules. I mean, why do- why would you need space when you can go to the Louvre? Oh, our umbrella basket. Man, we've had like a major upgrade. 
We even have like a little thing to put our shoes on. Like a respectable person. We're not just throwing them under the bed anymore. Oh, <gasps> our cats. All of our cool paintings. Our windmill. The Louvre is nice for sure. Yeah, I've been to the Louvre once. And like, I enjoyed it, but it's really confusing to walk around. <laughs> you get lost really easily. I'm not very good with directions, I think. Put this here. Put this here. Oh, no, I should put these next to here because they're boots. But where does the blanket go? I mean, this is, I think there's a towel. Whoa. Upgrade. Let's go. This place rules. <laughs> the trick is to stay to the right wall all the time. Why that the tricks for labyrinth? <laughs> it's confusing. No, I'm like I need like direct signs that tell me like exactly where the thing I want is. And like I'm great at following like well, I shouldn't say that. I'm not very great at following directions, but... I'm great at, like, making things work out anyways. I think we can all agree on that. But I think it's, like, crowded spaces, you know? It's hard when, some like, a place is really crowded and you, like, don't know where you're going anyways. That's rough. I'm gonna put the uh, Tower of Pisa there. <gasps> Rubber Ducky! Oh, Tower goes back here. We're not heathens. Oh my god, get a, get a cabinet. Get something for all this crap. Put it in a box. I mean, I guess it's already in a box. Put it in a bag. And keep it there forever. Ah, oh, toilet paper holder. Let's go. Put that in there. What is that? Oh, I, I guess it's like cleaning? <laughs> dirt? I love dirt in my bathroom. Pink loofah? The museum is an entire convention every day. It really is. It is insane every day. The worst time to go is like... And I, I think this is like a thing universally. But like... The worst possible time you can go to a museum is when it's, like, free for schools. Because sometimes they'll have that where it's like, oh, kids can go, but kids can come for free if they but go to school around the here and something like that. And you go and you're, like, <laughs> it's, like, 18,000 people. It's, it's, it, it, it's so nerve-wracking. <laughs> Cover yourself in dirt, good for your skin. Y'all yeah, try that, like a mud bath. I'm into it. Oh, laundry basket. Let's go. Man, we really are rich. I don't have anywhere to put it. Oh, the Louvre is always free for young people and students. Oh, that makes sense. Because I know some places it's like, just like, you know, it'll be like one day out of the month or something, or like a weekend out of the month where like 
kids can go to free to like museums and stuff, which it does rule. That is awesome, but but it's not awesome for me because I'm an adult and uh, I don't want to see a bunch of screaming kids as I'm like trying to be adulty at a museum. <laughs> you know what I mean? Oh my god, so much crap. I'm gonna put my pants down. Whoa. What is this? Can't complain, it's still free for me. <laughs> Yeah, I guess it's true. It's true. But I can complain. I can complain all I want. About anything I want. All the time. Every day. Where does this go? I'll put it here for now. I guess it's probably like too big to be put down, right? Okay. Truths, yeah, truths. Okay, stick this down. Have fun. No, you have fun. Also, hi, Chicky. How's it going? Put this on the floor for now. Man, how did we get this many boxes in here? Like, you can't even walk around. It's free, but it doesn't mean I'll go to the Louvre every day. Man, you're wasting it then. Now get to the Louvre, now. <laughs> you need to get to the Louvre ASAP, right now. I don't care it's the middle of the night. Get, get over there. Take this. No. God, I'm like claustrophobic in here. Like I can't I can't breathe in here. Get me out of here. Put this over here. Put this here. This will be here. It's only 59 minutes using the transport. It's not bad. Then hop to it. Let's go. It's time to view art. Now. But it's closed. I mean, just tell them you're a student. It'll be fine. <laughs> They'll open just for you. Tell them I sent you. I'm sure that'll work. This goes down? Suitcase. I'm just gonna show up and tell them I'm a student. It's free. Exactly. The rule said that I could be here. Prove otherwise. What are they gonna do? Make you leave? No way. Them's the rules. Can't argue with the rules. This goes here, maybe? Oh, 
Oh, I gotta put another one down here. I'm running out of space. We're gonna have to buy another house. Put that here. That there. This here. Perfect. I think. I hope. Put that here. But we don't have all the space for these hangers. This is insane. How many pants do we have? My thirst for art is so immense they can't stop me. I'll sue them for jailing the national treasures. <laughs> yeah. I'm telling you, just like, just stomp on in there. They can't keep it away from you. That art belongs to the people. And that's you. Perfume. More perfume. Shorts. I need to... Uh, where's, the, where's pajama drawer? This is not pajama drawer. Oh, a safe. Okay, we'll put that down there. I am the people. You are! And where do I... Where can I put this? Let me move it. Move this here. And then move that there. Can I put this anywhere else? Not really. I mean, I think I can like... Yeah, I can hang them up. Okay, that, that kind of worked, actually. And then... What? D d get this book out of here. Oh my god, there's like 10,000 rooms! There's so many rooms! And the bathroom is still a mess! I can do this. I'm a master of cleaning. Oh, let me get that person. Hold on. Guys, you don't want to become famous. I gotta tell you, you, you don't want to. It just never ends. Oh my god. Troops, I almost had a heart attack. I thought I almost banned you. <laughs> this is usually pigeon work. But uh, but I think pigeon is feeling a little under the weather today. Damn, you can be become famous? What are you waiting for? I'm already famous. What are you talking about? I've got a starship and everything. What else could I need? Oh, our chickens! Why do we have two different lamps? I don't like that. <laughs> if I don't get atomized, I'll get banned. <laughs> it's one or the other. Take your pick. Oh, can we put this on the window? Yeah, that's nice. I don't get what the extra candles are for. Can I, like... Put one on top or something? I don't think that's how it works. We have our bug. Our beautiful baby bug. And this <laughs> this picture of a spirit? The stallion of the Cimarron? <laughs> that's what this is, isn't it? That's exactly what this is. <gasps> we have a baby! Oh my god, we have a baby. Man, we had a glow up. That painting belongs in the loop. <laughs> Honestly, man, I didn't know we were a couple of horse girls in here.
He's just such a cool horse. Pick a knife and put it in the baby bed as a toy. I'm not doing that. I'm not doing that. How dare you? That's my that's my son or uh, daughter or uh, child. I don't know. How dare you? I can't believe you. God, we have so many chickens. And our walkie talkies. Oh, <gasps> look at this one. It's got ton glasses. Okay, I know exactly where these are going. Hold on. Put that there. Put that there. Move this down to the end. Man, I love our chicken collection. It's really, it's like the most valuable thing we own. I had taser chewing gum and knife is nothing compared to that. <laughs> okay, we'll, we'll give them a knife when they're ready, but... We gotta work our way up to that. We'll start with sporks. Or, uh, what... It's like... Quo, 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 quo... It is like koi chef or something like that. I don't know. That's not right. I don't know what that means. It's the French for... I don't know. A spork? We'll get the kid a spork first. I'm fluent in French. I'm fluent in French. Don't forget. It's really important that you remember that. And then mommy chicken can be up here. And then our speakers or whatever go on either side. That goes under the bed. Perfect. Okay, baby room. What is the hardest word in French you know? That's a good question. I don't... I don't know much French. I can- I'm okay. It's odd because I'm okay with reading French. I can read French okay. Or at least I used to be able to. But <laughs> my brain is slowly turning to mush, so... Uh, a frog is a pretty hard one, though. I, I, because it doesn't look like how it- how it sounds. Like, grin- it's like- is it like Grenouille or something like that? <laughs> they figurated. <laughs> but I think it's close to the English word, yeah. Man. But my pronunciation, you have to be impressed. Grenouille. Uh, the end of the word is really hard. Yeah, I, I don't think I can do the end of it. I don't know, it, it doesn't- it's not- it's one of those words that doesn't, like, translate well in English, I think. Like, just the spelling of it, it just doesn't... For, like, English-speaking brains, it's weird. God, so many blocks. I can't write how to say exactly. <laughs> but I also think that like English speaking people, when they're trying to read like non-English words, uh, they kind of have like a tendency to overdo it, I think. Uh, just because it looks more complex. And I think when you try and overdo it, that's when you get it really wrong. <laughs> At least that's what I've noticed. Aw, cute. <laughs> yeah, I can't read that. That that is that looks like looks like a demon wrote it. <laughs> I that's worse. That's so much worse. <laughs> I 
Okay, I think we need to focus on just unboxing stuff. Man, we have a half bath too? Dude, only rich people have half bathrooms. Uh, it's the same for English because I have terrible French accent. You probably heard it last time. I love your French accent though. Like, French accents, they sound so nice. I physically cannot say the R, so sometimes I pronounce it as L. I get that. I get that. Aww. We have so much cool stuff. This, like, little witch guy. Or girl, I guess. I mean like having a French accent, but sometimes I just can't speak. It's funny because you're like not the first French person I've heard say that. <laughs> so cute. Yeah, this is really cute. Look at it! She's just chilling out. She's got like a little star and everything. <laughs> the cute pivot. Thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> I think the obsession with having a perfect accent actually because of teachers telling you that you need to pronounce it that way or not. Yeah, I can see that. I can see that. <laughs> so much packing, man. This house is a chore. This is what I'm saying is like, don't move, just destroy everything you own. Destroy everything you own and just move into somewhere new. And then that's uh, perfect. Wait, are we like a children's? We like sell children's books. And here's our degree. And now we can display it proudly because we have a career. <gasps> Look at the... Hold on. Look at the little things on our monitor. That rules. Where do I get some? That's so cool. <laughs> it's just like little jelly bean guys. I love that. I've seen sociopaths putting stickers onto their monitors. That does make me nervous. I've never done that. But I will say that like recently I realized something that I can't unrealize. Um, my monitor, like imagine this is my monitor. I realized the other day when I was taking a look at it, I never took the stickers off of it from when I bought it. Like the plastic. <laughs> it's in plastic. It has plastic all over it. <laughs> and I guess I just never... I just... I guess I just never noticed it until now. But now it's all I can notice. That fucking drawing tablet, yeah. <laughs> it's intense. Dude, she splurged for the Wacom. Good for her. Oh my 
god, what is that? What a nightmare. <laughs> I will rob her. I want that tablet. <laughs> okay, well, look. I'm not telling you to rob her, but... Uh, if you do, can you get these things off her computer and give them to me? I'm not telling you to. I'm not advocating thievery around here, but... Uh, you know, if, if you do... Uh, Grace, grab those for me, why don't you? Ah, oh, our menorah! Okay, put that up there. With, like, this. I'm not really sure what this is. I remember seeing it, but... I'll <laughs> tell the police you sent me. Okay, no, we're not gonna be doing that. We're not. That's not- that's not what we do around here. I've never done anything wrong. Ever. Oh my god, just put everything on the floor. Oh my god, it keeps going. Just throw it, just throw it out. You can't stop me, my thirst for art is too immense. <laughs> He's gone crazy, He's, <laughs> his love for art, it's too much. He's breaking into the Louvre and stealing people's art supplies. <laughs> Someone stop him. We have this thing back. And we finally got like a proper spice rack. Thank God. I'm robbing only in the name of art. The, the Picasso Robin Hood. <laughs> you know what? That's fair. I mean, I don't think the police will buy it, but... It's definitely got like an inspiring ring to it. You might have the people on your side. The getting everything out of the box is the hard part. I think we should just like dump it out onto the floor. <laughs> I think that would be much more time efficient. Just tip it over. I will sue the police as well. Of course, I know I didn't think about that. Like we said, they can't they can't keep you from art. It belongs to the people. Who are we without art to look at? Oh my god, so many refrigerator magnets. There are so many things, we can't even see the floor. It, it's insane. You don't need all of this. Just, just don't cook. It, if it requires this much, don't ever cook. And there's toilet paper in here. That doesn't go in here. God, we're running out of space a little bit. Mm, put that up there. Oh, rich people. <laughs> exactly. Man. All your, like, fancy water bottles and bugs and your globe. I don't know what I'd do if I didn't have a globe in my kitchen. What? Uh, what is this? What is this? I don't have space for this. Okay.
We're just going to each room, taking everything out. Every single thing. I don't want to see anything. <laughs> Beehive. <laughs> this thing. Man, you need a beehive in your house. How else will you get honey? It's common sense, really. Oh my god, our DVD collection. Put that over there. The world would end without bees? I think it would. I think the world would end without bees. Arcane! Okay, we'll have to put that next to the front door. And our alien! <laughs> what can we do without that? We need that, that's important. I don't know if that's true. I was terrible at science class. I think that's true. Because, I mean, look, I'm, a, I'm more of a rocket scientist than like a, than like a bug scientist. I mean, bugs, I'm not down with the bugs, but I think how it works is the bees take pollen. Okay, write this down. The bees take pollen. There's an industry. Yes, there is. They take the pollen and they like make it go places and it makes the flowers grow. And if we didn't have that, then everything would die. I think that's correct. Okay, we've unboxed everything. Thank God. Now please pray for me. I need it. This dense gleaning. That's what I thought too. Yeah, I mean, great minds think alike. <laughs> Prayage, thank you. Thank you so much. I'm having to do manual labor. It's not fair. Wait, do we have a medicine? Oh, we do. Thank God. Okay, put those in there. And put this in there. And this can stay. This needs to go up. Do I have better TTT uh, emotes? I do. I I think uh, I, I I can't see them now for some reason, but I do have them. And this goes on the toilet. It has to. It goes there. Where does the bug spray go? It doesn't go in here. You don't keep bug spray in the bathroom. Oh my god, this kitchen makes me- I, I, what This house makes me want to scream. I'm gonna lose my mind. Is that a thing you can set up, like, emote by emote? I think with better TTV. Um, I think it's, like, universal. Like, if it's in their kind of little system, then it works. But there's a few you have to set up, like, emote by emote. So, I'm not sure. Maybe there's like default ones and then you have to like enable other ones? Wait, put on toilet. Yeah, there we go. And then put these up here. Put the razor over there. BTT has global Z. Oh, okay, okay, that makes sense. 
I don't know, for so long I had no idea what like better what better TTV was or anything. I thought people just like said Omega lol. Like I thought just the word. I thought they were just saying it. I thought it was just some odd Twitch speak that just I didn't understand. Is Monka S a global one? I think so. Dude, put my DVD player up. Uh, maybe this over here. But yeah, for so long, like, I didn't know... <laughs> I didn't know that those were, like, different things. I just... I just assumed people just talked like that for fun. <laughs> and then when I realized, it made everything make so much more sense. Aw, oh, these need to go like this. Yeah, I can see that. <laughs> I can most certainly see that. Twitch emotes and better TTV and uh, FFZ emotes have ruined my vocabulary. <laughs> I mean, I think it's kind of odd, right? Because like, like I think poggers is something that like, oh, that's pog, oh, that's super pog. Like I, I hear people say that in normal conversation. <laughs> Sometimes not even related to Twitch. I don't know. It's it's like ingrained in us now. And like it's growing beyond us. Someone's got to stop it immediately. Why am I organizing these? Just throw these on here. This house is a wreck. I do unironically say Pog, me too! I say Pog and like, oh, Sag. Like, <laughs> like in normal day to day life, it just slips out. <laughs> you can't just go outside and talk with someone who I'd be happy though. <laughs> Who says? Who says you can't do that? I will wed people happy as long as I please. Me as a barely functioning adult. <laughs> Guys, I'm gonna level with you. If you own this many, like, DVDs and stuff, I'm gonna come to your house and, like, kick them over or something. Get rid of them. Get rid of them right now. You have to. You don't need your Blu-rays anymore. Admit it. Oh, I have a giant shelf up here? Oh, let's go! And I put this here. <sighs> First I was like poggers, but then it was weird champ, you know? Keck W, anyway, was clearly on copium, which is kind of omegable when you think about it. <laughs> 
costumes. I love that. I love that a lot. <laughs> I used to have a DVD and Blu-ray collection that was like over 200 to 250 pig. Oh, that's insane. I imagine like moving that around was like a nightmare. Twitch has changed me forever. No, it's for the better. It's for the better. At least I think so. I hope so. Uh, put that in there. We moved one time and alone was like two boxes. Oh my god. <laughs> two boxes, but they're probably like a thousand pounds. <laughs> like, it's unbelievably heavy. That's what I was saying about books, is like, books weigh so much. It's not just that they take up space. You can't go anywhere now. You can't leave. You, Your soul exists here forever. What's wrong here? What's wrong with a printer under the bed? Oh, my god. I'm burning this house down. I'm done. I'm, I've, I've had enough. Put these over here. Put this somewhere. <laughs> Can't think of how much I will suffer from those Scrooge McDuck magazines when I'll move out. <laughs> Man, take nothing but that. I think that's a good idea. Only the Scrooge McDucks. That's the only thing that gets to go. The game isn't yelling at me if I just throw the stuff up here, so we're just gonna keep it. First I was like boggers, then I was like a weird champ, you know? <laughs> Heck W. <laughs> oh, I love that. <laughs> Copy pasta incoming. I I honestly like I would I love that. I wanna record that and make it a sound alert. <laughs> it's so good. Put that up there. This over here. Man, we gotta put the... <sighs> that goes in there. That goes in there. That also goes in here. And once the computer on the desk... Please do, I will. Don't worry. Where? Where does this... There. It goes there. It goes there and it's staying there. Keyboard. Like that. Perfect. Mouse. This is... <laughs> Guys, I, if your desk looks like this, you need help. <laughs> you need help. Don't live like this. That's coming from someone that has lived like that. Don't live like this. It's like bad for you or something. I don't know how, but I'm sure it's not good. These just need to be up here. This is kind of becoming like, uh... Damn, this is my desk with more money. <laughs> I hope you're more organized. I hope not. <laughs> this like is kind of becoming uh, like house flipper a little bit in the sense that like it started out very genuine and like you know with like being fully like authentic and wanting to do a good job and then slowly turned more and more into I'm gonna meet the minimum requirements and that's it. Let's see. If I just put everything on here, and then uh, this in here. Put 
put all of our pictures over here. God, I'm living in a nightmare. Get, I'm, get me out of this hell house. Okay, this goes over there, I think. I found a game called Gabe Simulator. It's free on Steam. I wish this... Uh, game, but it costs money. Yeah, this game do cost money. Oh my god, I'm gonna lose my mind. That <laughs> kitchen physically angers me. I feel hatred in here. I mean, this is... This is how, like... I don't know. This is how, like, when people say their houses are haunted and it has, like, bad energy, that's what I feel in this room. There's demon energy in this room. <laughs> I don't... I can't even open the cabinets. I hate it here. Uh, that goes up there? No. <sighs> Cafe simulator is like a cooking simulator. You have to buy your own shop and make coffee. That sounds cool. I love little simulator games. Even if they make me angry. Like this. The only demonic energy is when mom finds out you didn't wash the dishes. No. Not my mom. No. <laughs> Forks, the knives, and then that goes there. Our whales are back in here. Like, I don't want to give up. We've already gotten so far. Oh my god, the baby room. More hours you've been streaming. I know, I'm losing my mind. <laughs> Is anything wrong in this room? No. Is anything wrong in this room? No. It's just the kitchen. We can do this. Everyone hold hands. We can do this. Hold hands. Grab your nearest neighbor. Just get rid of the baby. <laughs> Great idea. Get rid of it. We don't need it. Not anymore. I'm seeking minimalism. And you can't have minimalism and a child. You have to choose. Oh my god. This isn't gonna be a Plibit Goes Insane stream. It's not. We're not doing that today. Yeah, it really is kind of just the kitchen. And the bedroom. And, and the baby room. <laughs> oh. Can this, like, go here? Go there? Go up there. Perfect. Love that. If the baby wants to stay, he has to pack his own shit. <laughs> then, getting him ready for real life. Under bed. Over here. Uh, not in the baby room. In the office? There. <laughs> oh my god, it's so scary! That goes in the sink. This goes in the sink. This goes under the sink. This goes under the sink. This... is up here.
<laughs> no, put that there. See the toilet room, the apartment in Paris for the price of the ent oh. No, no thank you. Do not want, do not wish to live there. No thank you. It's all going back here. We have to store everything in little nooks and crannies. Oh, on top of the fridge! It's speedrun time, let's go! Fuck the refrigerator magnets, who needs them? This goes here. This goes here. Sugar? Back here. Bowl there. <laughs> Hi, Astrolime. How's it going? That emote. <laughs> That's something. This game just became Tetris. Don't care if it's pure chaos or life disorder. If the game allows it, it's all good. Exactly. If it's allowed, it's staying. I don't care if it's good or not. It's staying. I will not. It's my longest stream really going to be this game? Is that possible? <laughs> that doesn't seem right. That doesn't seem correct. Oh, the plates. Uh, up there? Here? Hmm. Bowl up here. Plate here. This game looks kind of comfy. It, it, I mean, it starts out really comfy. Up until it becomes, like, stressful. Just stop. This person needs to stop buying so much stuff. And then expecting me to put it all away, you know? Just chill out with it. Okay. This goes in there. Oh my god, did we do it? Wait, there's a glass. Put that down there. There's stuff hiding back here. I have no more, I have no more drawers. Why did we buy a house with no cabinet space? Ooh, wait. Here. And then... That's a magnet. Uh, in here is fine. In here is fine. I think in here is fine. Oh. Okay. Um, that can go there. Baby diapers, go there. Lamp. God, where do I put all the baby stuff? Why didn't we buy a, like, bin for it? I can go in there. Let's... That's fine where it's at, I think. In here? Like, do I just put everything in the crib? That doesn't seem right. I don't- th I don't think that's all babies work. Can I put this in here? No. Okay, that can go up there. That goes there. Anywhere. Anywhere. I don't know. What is a baby? Why does a baby want a little trash can? Where do I put it? Oh, that can go in there. Okay, so maybe... Diapers there. Okay. That goes in crib. That goes in crib. That doesn't go in crib. That goes there. This goes here?
Hmm. I think the thing you put in the baby's mouth to call it was an Among Us. It kind of does look like an Among Us. Dude, you gotta teach him young, you know? Hmm, maybe we should put these towels up here. Maybe that's what it's telling us. Towels here. And then this in here? Oh my god, we did it. Okay, what's left? What could possibly be left? It's the kitchen, and it's this. Is this the last one? We did it! Look at us, we did it! I think that's the last one? I think so? Yeah, that's it everyone! We did it! Dude, first I was like poggers, but then I was like weird chance. <laughs> I'm telling you, next stream... Oh, oh wait, this is us! Th <gasps> all our stuff is here! You open up the box, Aww. there's so much to do We did all this! We did this! this is now a home for two Aww, I'm gonna cry! Look at the adventure we've had! Your house plan brightens up Aww. The dreary wind That bathroom was really messy I did not- that wasn't that good In the evening chill Cute. We did it, you guys! Dude, we're making this house a home. I can't believe it. We did it. We did it together. Whoa. I'm not gonna skip it. I'm not evil. <laughs> that was fun, you guys! Just a quick little game. Just a, just a little just a little something, you know? <laughs> that Elmo, that cursed Elmo. <laughs> it's so scary. Slowly, slowly our things combine. There's our chickens. Favorite stuff toy right next to mine. The song's a banger. Easy clap. Yeah, we did it. Dude, it, it was nothing. I wasn't, I wasn't, I wasn't nervous at all. I wasn't about to cry over the stress. It wasn't gonna get me. I swear. That <laughs> album was beautiful. It really is. Cry. The game has no timer and it gave us so much stress. Is, isn't that how it goes though? I can play very stressful games and feel totally at home. I games like this. Oh, that's me. That's me. Oh, <gasps> cute. That's our family. That's us, chat. We're the baby. <laughs> Well, there we go, everyone. That was unpacking. I hope you guys liked that. I thought that was really fun. And it's kind of cool to, like, completely finish a game on stream. I don't think we've ever done that before. But yeah. Let's hit it here. Anxiety, the game, Tetris version. <laughs> Honestly. That game was actually fun. It was. It was super fun. Uh, let's get back to like our hype music. But yeah, thank you all for joining.
We had like a little adventure together. We moved so many times. We unpacked so much stuff. I can't believe it. We lived a full life chat. We did. Now we have to we have to give on that energy to someone else. Someone that's not me. Unfortunately, you know. Thank you for streaming. Thank you guys for joining. Man, we had a packed house tonight. For <laughs> such a silly game. <laughs> Man. Laggy. Uh, laggy, you've got something growing on you. I don't know what that's about. Might want to check that out. <laughs> but yeah, let's see who on a raid. Thanks for strumming, Frog Lady. Dude, anytime. Thanks for watching, uh, Pokemon God. <laughs> Let's, uh, who, who do we raid? We could raid Cordelia. Cordelia is exciting. I don't, I don't know much about Cordelia, but I do know that she's like also like a space pirate or like a space sailor. So we're kind of like kin in that way, you know? And uh, she's playing Beyond Two Souls, so maybe we'll uh, raid her. Cute froggy sub. Hey, what's up? <laughs> right back at you. <laughs> but yeah, let's start that raid. And then the next time I'll be live, we'll be playing uh... <laughs> Legally Distinct. <laughs> Face Frog Multiverse. Yeah, it's ever growing. As we speak, it's growing. But yeah, the next time I'll be streaming will be on when? It'll be on Friday. Oh, Friday we're playing Rune Factory 5. It just came out. That's gonna be really pog. I hope you guys are ready. I don't know, it's been a while since I played a Rune Factory game, so that should be pretty fun. But yeah, we're doing that on Friday, and then on Saturday, Saturday we're playing some more Outer Worlds. Which uh, is kind of like my comfort game right now, you know? I'm, I'm really liking Outer Worlds. It's just like, chill out, make some choices, uh, steal stuff. I don't know what Rune Factory is. It's kind of... Ah, uh, it's kind of like a JRPG. But this one is like a JRPG with what looks to be like... Uh, almost like Genshin Impact elements. Like the way you fight and stuff. But, uh, but yeah, it's gonna be fun. And, uh, I'll see you guys there. So let's get in this raid. Let's, uh, hold on. I gotta do my raid message. Dude, someone someone copy and paste this so I don't have to. <laughs> Frog invasion. Oh nice. Yeah, it's something different. I don't see many like JRPGs over here, so. Here. Dude, you gotta let Cordelia know. Let her know. Let her know she's being invaded right now. <laughs> Okay, guys, I will see you uh, in a few days. Later, later, everyone. Thanks for joining. Bye, 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 bye.